<clears throat> Hello, duelists. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing? Uh, Neo's W, think of the 11. Running it back with the liberals? Uh, I don't know yet. We'll have to check. I was I was planning to do Necros, but then I don't know if uh, I don't know if that's more like a copium thing. I don't know if it's even playable in an in a ritual event, dude, but we'll see. Uh Vi, think of it a five. Dup, dup, dup. Okay, let me quickly fix my thingy. All right, now it works again. Okay. Maybe try the new new Val cards. Well, I was thinking about that. That would be cool. However, you need like five ultra rares for that, and I didn't. I I don't have any of them. I I do not have any of them. So you know, you somehow look different today. I did get a haircut. Uh, Leo Ganda, I think about ninth month, nine months. Oh, I forgot to change the sub sound. No, you weren't supposed to get another week of it. Oh, I forgot, man. I just realized. Uh, Strider, I think about four months. Well, I guess it's going to be here for another day. I guess it's going to be here for another day. Or, uh, yeah. It's an event loaner? Well, okay. It, I mean, maybe we can try it, but usually the event loaners are not perfectly built, to say the least. But, you know. I don't know. Anyways, uh, plan for the day is relatively simple. Originally, originally, I was planning to do the Centurion testing today. However, I realized this morning that the ritual event in Masadul has started, and I do want to do that as well. So, the reason why we're doing uh, the ritual event today is because I don't like doing the um, the Masadul events like days after they've started because then people don't tend to care about it anymore. And it doesn't feel as exciting. Like, I, I like doing them on, like, the first day. Uh, or, like, the second day. Like, very early on, I think it's cool to play them. But, like, a couple days in, I, I just don't feel as excited about them. So that's why we're doing it today. Um, and we're simply going to do Centurion tomorrow. We're very simply just going to... We're just going to do Centurion tomorrow. And it's going to be fine. Uh, because the cards come out on Thursday. So we're, we're still doing it before release. Which is what matters, I think. Um, in Kiara Dibolo, thank you for the one month. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, no new cards reacting. Oh, do you, don't don't you worry. I got the new cards pulled up already. Don't don't you worry. That is implied. We always do that. We always do that. I have a couple of new cards we can we can read through today that I also have not read myself yet. So we're gonna see what that all is about. Um. Okay. First things first, though. Warm up. Warm up. 16 minutes until... No, no, okay, don't say that. Don't say that, please. I am genuinely concerned because of how it was last week. I am genuinely terrified that the issue is back. I hope it's not, but don't. Uh, anyways. Let us begin guessing some cards. Uh, oh, this is cost down. Hello? What do we have here? I, this looks very familiar. It's very old vanilla, I believe. Don't know the name. Neck Hunter. Uh, this also looks familiar. Generator, maybe? Dark World? The Generator, right? Shirley? Hela? It is a generator. It is a generator. That's what I thought. Uh, this is Wind Up, I believe. It's a spell card, though. Uh, then Mailstorm, maybe? Then March? That one. Uh, it's Flying Shark or something? Is that a thing? Not flying fish. What is that? Something air shark? Ah. What 
Fly Fang? Oh, we've wasted so much time on this. It's, it's Fly Fang. We wasted too much time on that. I should have skipped it. Okay, that's a goatee. Uh, I think this one? Yep. Uh, slime Toad. Slime Toad? Still Frog the Jam if you ask me, by the way. Some Dark Magician support. I don't know about that. Rubric Rice, thank you for the three months. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the support. Ooh, this is something Moon and this one. I think we had it recently. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, this one. It's sinister. It's it's the new one for one. But it's not one for one. The Something, it's not one for one though. It's not called one for one either. One for, no, it's not called that. I don't know what it's called. I've, I've, I know what it is, but I don't know what it's called. One by one. God damn it. Uh, Le Kunga. Uh, ba -ba -ba, ritual weapon. <laughs> Disruptor, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Oh, that's Featherstorm. I wish I didn't knew that. I, I wish I didn't know that card. Unfortunately, I do. Mm, this one, I don't think I know. Oh, no, it's Mid Shield Gardener. Mid Shield Gardener. Ooh. Uh, Arcana Force. Arcana Force, the Light Ruler or the Dark Ruler? Dark Ruler, okay. 50-50 has been lost. As per usual. Who are you? Do I know you? I don't know you. No. Uh, ba -ba. Ooh. Gladiator Beast? Question? What? Who is that? Is that a Glad Beast? No. Uh, ooh. Ah, uh, what is that? I know this one. I know this one. Infinite Light. I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, uh, who are you? Oh, a Nordic beast. Uh, is this Judgment of Thunder or Wat Kid? Wat Kid. Uh, Bigfoot, right? Bigfoot. This is something lights one, but it's, I believe, a spell or trap that I don't know the name of. Lights one judgment. Okay. Ooh, this uh, looks familiar to me. What, what is this? Oh, this this the circuit beast, right? Wait, no, that's not it. Then it's Millennium Scorpion or something like that. What? That's exactly what I was thinking. What is this called? Needle Burrower? Oh god. I'm in shambles. I'm actually in shambles. Uh, is that Hero Mask? Yeah. Okay, chat. Which Trap Tricks is it? Which Trap Tricks is it? Kolaria. Okay. Uh, I want to say Amazement or Abyss Actor, which means I skip. Dual Taining. Cyber Valley. Easy.
Mm, ooh, uh, Eternal Light, True Light, True Light, True Light. Uh, what do we have here? Mecha Phantom Beast? No, Bujin something? No, it's a Mecha, no, Bujin, oh, Bujin. It looks like Endymion. Oh, it's a Witchcrafter. Okay, okay. Naturia angle, I believe. Looking very naturia -y. Oh, no. Uh, it's something foolish. Revival? Return? Wait, which one is it? Peaceful. Bur oh, it's not a foolish. It's a burial. Okay, I see. Peaceful Burial. That one. Ooh, this is a uh, Constellar. Um, something. No, it's not Caduceus. It might be Al Getty. Yeah. Herald of. Uh, this is Herald of the. This is the Xyz Pure Light. Yeah. What the hell is that? Oh, it's. Oh, okay. Never mind. Delete one. <laughs> uh that looks like it's called all in if that's a thing super all in no come on man it was a very educated guess big win that's the one okay Come on, that looks way more like a super all in. Ooh, this is Abyss Lead. This one I do not know. Makani. Okay. Uh, this. I also don't know. I thought it was GB Hunter at first, but it's not. It, it, didn't, it didn't quite look like it. Ooh, this one, it's like a Gagaga -ga -ga Gartner. Yeah. Ooh, this might be the first time I've ever guessed the freaking Gagaga -ga -ga card. Uh, this one I've seen, but I don't know what it's called. Super Junior Confrontation. Uh, wind Up Snail. Uh, oh, this is one of the, the, the Sacred Beast support. This is like Chaos Summoning Beast or something like that. This one? Okay. Uh, I want to say this is a vanilla from back in the day. Gadget. Is it Gadget Soldier? It is Gadget Soldier. Yeah. What's going on here? Oh, this is uh, the uh, Outlitch the Mad Golden Lord, right? Yeah. Easy Axe Raider.
looking very six samurai-y. Uh, but I don't know what this one's called. It's a, it's a trap. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's a trap. Oh, it's double-edged sword technique. The one that reborns too, I believe. Okay, we got a Lina situation. I believe that's just Lustrous, the Link 2. No. Possessed? No. Come on. Oh, God. It's the light spiritual art. Oh, my God. We've, we've been baited once. Oh, my God. Come on, man. <sighs> this is something dice. I forgot what it's called, though. We had, I think we had it last time, but I didn't pay attention. Dice try. Mm. Mm. What is going on here? Oh, it's my body. Come on. If that starts at any other point of the card, I get that instantly. But they had, they had to start with this dude's head for some reason, man. Easy Camellia. Ooh, is that Rika? I'm not sure if it is. It's probably one of the bad Rikas, though, right? This one? Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have known the exact name, but it does look like a Rika card. <laughs> Ooh, the elephant. Is it gem elephant? Elephant statue? No, it's not one. It's not that. This one, right? Yeah. It's the trap monster, right? Ooh, Gilman, right? Gilman. Wait, Gilman? Gilman. Hmm. Oh, it's a Weasel! I, yeah, I think it's, 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 yeah, it wasn't a, a skill, it was a Weasel. My bad. This is looking like the, ooh, this is, uh, the, the Synchro, the Buster Dragon. That one. Uh, this is something Colosseum. Savage Colosseum? Yeah. Crystal Bond, I believe. Ooh. I don't think we have the time to guess this one. Not that I knew it anyways. Ah, 8.59. You know what, chat? You know what? It's not a bad round. It's not a bad round, and you have no right to call me washed up right now. But I'm feeling like we've been doing better and better over the last week. So there might be a point where we need to shoot higher than this, right? There, there, might, there might come a moment in time where the new benchmark for being washed up is not 700 anymore. It might be 800 soon. It's not yet, though. Not yet. Not yet, chat. But maybe at some point, you know? Maybe at some point, it'll be appropriate to call me washed for 800 points. But it was okay. It was all right. Uh, Ipris, thank you for the prime. Thank you for the five months. Welcome back. All right, let's quickly do this. Anything under 1k is washed? That is not true. That is not true. We got a level 4 effect monster with decently high attack, low defense. Let's, uh, okay, what do we, let's, I'm trying to think of an earth or a light. Trying to think of an earth or a light. Because those are the most common ones. Usually, Lady Debug is not a bad one. Okay. Hmm, we're looking at exactly 1600 attack. A level 4 with 1600 attack. 
So it's not Raisin, chat. It's also not a warrior. It can't be Raisin for multiple reasons. 1600 attack level 4. Uh, ba -ba -ba, trying to think of an earth monster. Analyzer? Analyzer is 1500 attack. Tracer is a dark, so it can't be Tracer, chat. Well, it could have 1550, you're right, but that's not very, very rare. Panthera? Isn't Panthera 1700? Oh, they're not even in here. Bank? No, they are. I, I just misspelled it. No, it's 1700. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's just... Maybe there's a, maybe there's an infinite track. What is the anchor drills attack? Is it 18? It's 18. You know what? I'm still going to click it. I know it's wrong, but I just want to see... Okay, we know the year now, and we know it's even less than 500 defense. 2019. Rika Princess. No, not Rika Princess. Electric Jellyfish. Nope. Might be a link. It could be a link, but it would have to be a link 4 with 1600 attack. Is there a link 4 with 4 1600 attack? I wouldn't think so. Most of the link 4s are stronger. Right? Yo, what's up, Tasuku? How you doing? There's none. Neo Flamvel? Neo... Okay, there's like, there is no shot. I have never seen this card in my life. I have never seen this card in my entire life. Never, never, ever have I seen this card. Never, ever have I seen this card. I don't even know if that's a real card or not. That's probably not a real card. That is probably not a real card. Oh, speaking of task, look at what happened yesterday. Look at what happened yesterday. We got, we've been blessed. We've been blessed by the, 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 the legend uh, himself. The Master Duel legend has blessed us on Twitter yesterday. <laughs> Loggers. We have received the blessings. <laughs> also, the, the Ember tweet. It's also fire. <laughs> uh. That happened yesterday. According to the MCS though, Math makes strongest. Dude, Master Duel is in trouble right now. Master Duel is in trouble because there's so much peop so many people playing Math Mech and Cyber Stacks now because of the new pack. The new pack it, it achieved the exact opposite of what we wanted. We wanted it to be uh, like a Vanquish Soul Fiesta and now it's just uh, Cybers everywhere. It's a problem. It's an actual problem. <laughs> I don't mind smile. Well, I do. I do. I mean, Vagrosol does quite well still. Yeah, I mean, it's still okay. It's, it's fine. It's all good. I'm just messing around. Okay. Before we boot up Master Duel today... Let us quickly take a look at some of these new cards that they revealed. Now, once again, uh, I do not know what this pack is, but it's got some revivals of classic cards is all I know. I haven't read the cards yet, but I've been told that it's kind of like a revival of some OG cards, which I'm also, I'm, I'm like, oh, always down for. I'm always down for this kind of stuff. Um, because I just think it's cool and flavorful to play like new versions of older cards. Um, Legacy, Legacy of Destruction, next core set. Ooh, it is a main set. Okay. So we're starting to get main set reveals for what's to come after Fo Phantom Nightmare. So that is cool. Uh, and we got, first things first, we got Gandora, a new Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction, which Gandora, honestly, is one of the, one of the coolest anime cards, probably. If you ask Billy Brake right now, he's going to tell you it's one of his favorite cards, for sure. That's how cool Gandora is. Um... Level 8 Dark Dragon Effect Monster, 0 attack, 0 defense, and I should be on the right side. You are right, thank you, I forgot. 
you can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, that I don't think is a card that exists yet. So that might be a new thing. Uh, so a remake of Gold Sarcophagus, right? So they're remaking a lot of cards here from like, I believe this is all 2009, 2010-ish era. Uh, anyways, if you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay. Uh, gains 300 attack for each banished card. So it's like a budget Grand Maju. Uh, you can pay half your life points, destroy as many other cards on the field as possible, and if you do, banish them. Then special summon one level 7 or lower monster from your deck that mentions Gold Sarcophagus of Light, and if you do, increase its level by the number of cards destroyed by this effect. Uh, okay, I mean... If this is an entire archetype based around the, the, the Gold Sarcophagus of Light, this is not a terrible card in it, because like it's it would be a free extender and it would be a insane board breaker going second. I mean, imagine resolving this card going second. You're gonna you're gonna blow up your opponent's entire board, banish all of them, and then get another like a teleport from the deck. So it's like not a terrible card right off the bat, but of course on its own it doesn't do anything. We need to check out the other cards. Uh we got Silent Swordsman Zero. Wait, this is all one archetype? What does Gandora have to do with Silent Swordsman? Outside of being printed in the same era. They did they had nothing to do. I mean, they're all Yugi's cards, I suppose. Yeah. So is that ooh, I like that. I like that. Is does that mean they're making an archetype around just Yugi's anime cards? And they're like they belong together now? That is cool. That is gonna be that is gonna that is gonna bait some people into playing their Yugi decks, right? That's like a that's like a dark magician duelist wet dream, right? Um anyways. Level four light warrior. You can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. Once per turn during each standby phase, increase this card's level by one. While this card's current level is higher than its original level, it gains attack equal to the difference times five hundred. Okay, both of these effects are irrelevant in 2023. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets Gold Sarcophagus of Light and or a monster that mentions it, you control. You can negate the activation, and if you do, increase this card's level by one. Okay, so this card is not that great. It's just like a level four that can negate targeting onto your cards, but that's not, that's not very good. It doesn't even destroy the card that targets whatever, so it's like, this card is kind of eh. Silent Magician Zero. Okay, they're making, like, light versions of all these. They're, like, silent, uh, like, you know. Uh, light spellcaster effect monster. You can only use the third effect once per turn. If your opponent draws cards, increase this card's level by the number drawn. And it also gains attack equal to the difference. When your opponent activates a spell card or effect and you control gold sarcophagus of light, you can negate the activation. And if you do increase... Okay, now that's a more powerful negate. That's a more powerful negate. Silent Swordsman and Magician were always light? No, I meant like because of the zero, you know, because of Coke Zero and so on and so forth. I didn't mean the attribute. Anyways. Um, it was a boomer joke. Let's move on. This is a way more powerful card. These cards are almost the same, but this one is like infinitely better, right? Because uh, negating spell cards... Negating spell cards is just in, in, infinitely better than negating targeting. Like, if this one negated all kinds of monster effects, okay, this would be a useful card, but it's not. This, one, this one's powerful. This one is powerful, the Silent Magician. Ooh, we got the gadgets too in here. Okay, Tree Colora Gadget. That is, that is a sick artwork. Uh, you can only use the first and second effect uh, once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add a gold sarcophagus of light or a spell trap that mentions it from your deck to your hand. Okay, that's flavorful that the, the gadget card searches the card. That is nice. Uh, if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can set a stronghold the hidden fortress directly from your deck. Stronghold the hidden fortress is not the one from back in the day, right? The one back in the day was called stronghold the moving fortress. Is that also a new card? Is also a new card. Okay, okay, okay. So we need to check that out later. Okay, I mean, fine card. You know, on summon searches, on destruction, sets a trap from your deck. If that's a good card, then we, we might be talking. We got Mar Mashy Marshmallow. <laughs> it's just Marshmallow with his glasses. I love that. Okay. 
You can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. During your opponent's turn, if you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, only during the opponent's turn, though. While you control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, your opponent monsters cannot target other monsters for attacks. If this card is destroyed by card effect, you can special summon one of your other mashy marshmallows that is banished in your hand, deck, or grave, and if you do, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. That is an interesting effect because you wouldn't, it doesn't seem super strong right off the bat, right? Because it doesn't do anything on your turn, pretty much, right? It's only. Quote, I, I, I have even a hard time calling this a hand trap, right? Because it, does, it doesn't really stop your opponent from doing anything. But what it does do is it basically skips your opponent's battle phase, right? It basically skips your opponent's battle phase. Uh, because you just summon it from your hand in defense position. Your opponent cannot target other cards uh, for attacks. And this thing cannot be destroyed by battle, right? And so... You just, like, your opponent goes battle phase, summon this thing, and your opponent's battle phase basically ends, right? Um, and the funny thing is that it even works, it even works against something like Baron the Fleur, right? Because of this third effect. It's like, if this card is destroyed by card effect, you get another Mashy Marshmallow from your, from Hand, Deck, Grave, or Banished. So if you, like, uh, if, if your opponent has a Baron de Fleur or any other Omni negate that destroys, you can activate the effect. They, if they negate it with Baron, it gets destroyed, and then you trigger its graveyard effect to summon another one anyways, right? So they need, like, two, two Omni negates. Or two ways to destroy it, because this is a... The third effect is once per turn, so if they have multiple ways to destroy it by card effect, they can get over it, right? You can Gandora destroy it. You can, yeah, but you're not really getting anything out of it, right? You're kind of going even, right? You're, you're not creating card advantage by destroying your own card just to have it float into another, right? That's like saying, oh, you can blow up Reborn Tangu with Gandora's effect and then, you know, you get the effect. Like, yeah, you do, but it doesn't really do much. You burn a thousand, I guess, you know, but that's not really... Doesn't seem like it's a win condition in this deck to burn your opponent, which, to be fair, so far, uh, it's kind of like a win condition mod check situation. Like, okay, some of these cards are neat, funny design, but like, where, we, how are we winning the game? You know, what is what is going on here? Uh, Gold Sarcophagus of Light, continuous spell card. This is probably the most important card because everything resolves around it. Revolves around it. So let's see. Uh, you can, only you can only use the second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. First effect. Cannot be destroyed by monster effects. Okay, that's important because it has synergy with Gandora. It means Gandora will not blow up your own sarcophagus. During your main phase, you can add one card from your deck to your hand that mentions Gold Sarcophagus of Light. Ooh, once per turn, Rhoda. That is very powerful. That is a very powerful effect for a spell card. Once per turn, Rhoda is something that every deck would want. Like, desperately. Uh, if your opponent special summons a monster from the graveyard, you can discard a spell, then target one of those monsters, send it to the graveyard. Okay, we got some random hate for graveyard strategies. Uh, I will say special summoning from the graveyard doesn't happen that much anymore. Like, I mean, some decks do it, but like a lot of the time, like you, most decks don't have to, right? But it's like a bonus on this, right? The most important part about this is that it's a once per turn rota. Now, once again, the problem for a deck is that a card like this only adds consistency, right? It only adds consistency to a deck. The problem is, what does this deck do consistently, right? It's like consistently puts up a spell negate. That's pretty much all I'm seeing so far. And like an annoying battle trap, but that's not going to win you the game, right? It's just like I'm not seeing the win condition so far. Silence of time, turn silence. Quick play spell. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You can target one face-up monster you control, increase its level by three, and if you activated this card in response to your opponent's monster effect activation while you controlled the gold sarcophagus, and a monster that mentions it, negate that effect. If your monster that mentions gold sarcophagus of light battles during damage calc, you can banish this card from your grave and the battle phase. Uh, okay. I mean, it's a powerful trap card, I want to say. Like, I mean, you can't really use this card on turn one, right? 
it does negate something like uh, Nibiru, right? It it it, it would ne it's kind of like a it's kind of like a cross out designator for Nibiru or Ash theoretically, right? Like you you go normal summon the gadgets uh, to activate the effect. Your opponent ashes it. You can chain this to negate the Ash, for example. But you also need to have the gold sarcophagus on top, right? Uh, and then the second effect, correct me if I'm wrong, and I actually might be wrong, I'm not 100% sure now, but because the second effect says during damage calculation, if my monster loses the battle, is it, it still dies, right? Like, it's not like I save my monster. I think if we already reach damage calculation, maybe my monster still dies, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. I'm not actually 100% certain that that is the case, but I believe if we reach damage calculation, that, I, mean, I don't know. I, I think it still dies, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, we got Ties of Friendship. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. If you control Gold Sark of Light and a monster that mentions it, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn after this card resolves. Special summon up to two level four or lower monsters with different names from your hand or deck that mention gold sarcophagus of light. The spell cards, they have pretty good spell cards, I want to say. Uh, however, the monsters are this, that we're lacking in the monster department. But the spell card is this is also a pretty powerful card, right? This is like a Ties of the Brethren remake. Uh, gadget is full combo. I mean, yeah, you can go, you can go gadget. Grab Gold Sarcophagus, Gold Sarcophagus at this, and then you have the requirements fulfilled to summon two other monsters from the deck, right? Pretty much. Like, one gadget does all of that. But the question is, what is all of that, right? I mean, we're going gadget into Gold Sark, Gold Sark into this, activate this, summon what? Right? Summon what and do what? Like, we can summon, we can summon this... And then we have a spell negate, but where do we go from there? We can't really do anything because we are also locked out of our extra deck. So I don't know what we do. Silence towards the future. Quick play spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Add a monster from your deck to your hand that mentions Gold Sarcophagus of Light. Then you act if you activated this card during the battle phase while you controlled Gold Sarcophagus and a monster that mentions it, each player draws cards until they have six cards in their hand. Bro, they have custom... It's actually custom spells. Like, the, what, the, what is this, man? It's a quick play Rhoda that can, like, let both players draw until they have six? What the hell, man? I mean... I... The more I read this, the more I read these cards. Domstar, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate that. Thank you. Also, Motion Stop. Thank you for the three months. Welcome back. The more I'm looking at these cards, the happier I am that they don't really have a win condition because this consistency is insane. I mean, they have a once per turn Rota, a quick play Rota that has a bonus effect sometimes. Uh, they have a teleport for two. They have this thing, which is... That, this one's the weakest out of the four spells, but it's still not, not a bad card by any means. It's like their own called by the grave, pretty much. So it's kind of insane. Like, I mean, any any archetype out there would pretty much die for these spell cards. Um, it's just that the monsters aren't that great. But that's maybe good that way, man. It's probably good that way, because otherwise this deck would be complete. Like, it's like, it's one thing to make a deck super consistent, but if you also make it super powerful, then we we are talking like, actual serious top meta contender which uh you know all this consistency doesn't really have a payoff to it yet yeah this is the stronghold trap that the gadgets set from the deck continuous trap special summon this card as an effect monster level four with these effects gains a thousand attack for each card you control that is gold sarcophagus or a monster that mentions it once per turn when an opponent's monster declares an attack and you control gold sarcophagus of light you can destroy that monster uh, okay, this is not that great. The trap card isn't as custom as the spell cards are, but it's not it's not a terrible card, especially if you get it for free from the gadgets, but it's not great. Um, long story short, very custom spell cards. 
I like the flavor of these cards. You know, me as a certified Yugi boomer, I appreciate, you know, the remakes of old cards, old classics. These look very cool, very nostalgic, very, very nice, honestly. Almost all of these cards have a pretty, pretty nostalgic feel to me. So I, I like that they're doing it. From a competitive perspective, um, from a competitive perspective, I don't think just looking at it as from like as an archetype, you know, it doesn't seem awful, but it also doesn't seem like it's a playable deck yet because I simply don't see what we're doing with the deck, right? We only have five main deck monsters. Uh, one of those monsters doesn't even do anything on your turn, which is the Marshmallow, right? Like it's it, it's only it's strictly pretty much like a battle trap. Uh, battle hand trap so we have, basically in order to play with on the first turn we only have four cards uh one of which is the gandora which only has is this effect is only really really good if um if your opponent has cards on the board like going second this card is really nice going first like you know it's like not phenomenal um and then we have the two zero monsters which are like fine especially the silent magician is fine to set up but that's like this is the only thing that has any sort of interruptive capabilities like on your opponent's turn right like uh, the silent magician is the pr is pretty much the only payoff we have for this deck right so it's cool i like it i like the flavor of it but i i don't think it's competitively viable but i don't think it has to be you know, I don't think it has to be a, a tier zero deck or whatever. I think it's, uh, I think it's cool. I think it's gonna get some people hyped, fans of the anime, the early s seasons, and that's, um, that's good, good enough in my book. You know, and maybe who knows, there is more support for it eventually, and then we might actually be talking. You know, uh, ATM newbie, thank you for the prime, and Grin Papier, thank you for the prime as well. Appreciate that. Thank you. Those are not the only new cards we have. We have two other cards. We have a level one fire monster. Dude, the fire support just does not stop. And then we have this fusion thingy, which I haven't read yet either. Uh, we have Mira and Machinoko, a level one fire spellcaster. You can only use the first and second effect each once per turn. If this card is in your hand, you can reveal three cards from your hand and or deck with the same name as cards in your opponent's grave, but different names from each other. And if you do special summon this card... Reveal the... When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can send this card summoned by its first effect to the graveyard. Send one card with the same name as that opponent's card from your deck or extra to the grave, and if you do negate the activation. <laughs> Raigaru, thank you for the seven. I mean, first of all, this isn't fire support, and second of all, this card is just straight up awful. This card is complete garbage, man. The freaking... Okay. The, for the summoning condition, your opponent needs to have three cards in their graveyard that you also play. Right? Three cards in their grave that you also play. So you have to show them... You, sh you have to show that you play three of those cards. Three different cards. Uh... As, the, as are in your opponent's graveyard, just to summon this thing. And then, when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can send it to the graveyard, and it's basically cross-out designator. So it's basically a cross-out designator with like 15 extra steps attached to it. Which is like it's hilariously bad if you th if you think about the fact that they printed Crossout Designator like one and a half years ago, or like probably even maybe longer than that. I don't remember when it came out in the OCG, but like roughly one and a half years ago, they made Crossout Designator. Right? They they thought making Crossout Designator was fine. Right? And now, like one and a half years later, fast forward. They make this thing, which is just like a so much worse version of Crossout Designator. Side deck for the mirror, you will never play this card. I'm, I'm telling you right now. 
I'm telling you right now, clip it, whatever, save it for, for two years from now or whatever, but like this card is not playable. This is not a playable Yu-Gi-Oh card. Snake Eye target though? Yeah, but like the thing is, you don't even get the second effect when you normal summon it or when you special summon it with the Snake Eye Sinful Spoils, right? Yes, it's a level one fire that you can su summon from your deck. Then I would understand it. You know, if it was like, if it was like, I can normal summon it for hand trap protection or I can summon it from my deck with the Sinful Spoils thingy and then it acts like a kind of pseudo cross out. Okay, I would understand that. But it only works if this card summoned by its first effect is sent to the graveyard, right? You can only use the second effect if it's, if it's been summoned by its first effect. So it's, this is complete garbage. Because even if people play, even if people play like Max C, Ash, Called By in every deck, for example, in Master Duel, right? You still have to hope that your opponent has all three of those cards in the graveyard, pretty much, right? The, the, the time it takes for your opponent to have the same three staples in the graveyard that you play in your deck somewhere is ridiculous. Like, this card is just... Honestly, let's just move on, dude. It's not worth talking about. Uh, we got A-Star Speculation. Level 7 Light Warrior Beast Fusion. Uh, Beast Fusion. Warrior Fusion. Uh, materials. One monster with 2,500 or more attack. Plus a face down defense position monster with 2500 or less defense. Uh, okay. This, the second thing, this makes it a little bit awkward because I was thinking super poly target because it's very generic 2500 or more attack. The problem is face down defense position monster with 2500 or less defense. What this means is uh, you cannot use your opponent's monsters for this ever. Because your opponent's face down monster will not be like you, you, even if you know the defense, like for example, you Book of Moonded or something like that, you still won't be able to do it. Uh, you can super poly your own set monster. Like you can set any monster with less than 2500 and then super poly, which I mean, I guess that works. Uh, you can only special summon it once per turn. Uh, this card gains this effect based on its battle position. In attack, it gains attack equal to the highest original attack among monsters your opponent controls. So it can pretty much run over anything. Okay. Defense position cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. You can tribute one attack position monster and a face down defense position monster. Special summon this card from the graveyard. This card isn't great. This card isn't great. Uh, you're never going to go through the uh, effort of summoning this thing with polymerization, right? Straight up, like, I think we can agree on that, right? Like, you would never invest... Like, even if a deck can't summon it. Like, you guys are saying, like, yeah, ninjas can ninjas can summon it or whatever. Like, what's the... the it doesn't do much, right? It, it's not like... It's not like you get anything crazy out of it. It's just a beat stick. It's just a beat stick. So the only thing that would be interesting about it would be Super Poly. However... Having to set your own monster, which basically wastes your normal summon, just to be able to super poly your opponent is not great. It is not great, but um, I guess if you were playing a deck like Shadals or something like that, you could think about it. However, Shadals already have infinite super poly targets that are better than this, so I don't think it's a good card. I don't think these. I think these are pack fillers. Kind of disappointing kind of these are these are disappointing i i don't want to spend too much time on these they're not great they are simply not great all right haircut i did get a haircut yes i did get a haircut uh all right let me boot up the master duel All right, I, I already did the update this morning. I already did the update this morning, so we can hop right in. Uh, once again, the, the Ritual Festival has begun, so we're going to check that out. We're going to postpone Centurion gameplay to tomorrow, which I'm sorry if you guys were looking forward to that today, but we're still going to do it, don't worry. Uh, simple reason being, 
Simple reason being that I I do want to play the Ritual Festival and I don't want to play it. Like I I like playing these festivals when uh when they just start because it's just I feel like it's the most exciting when uh it's the most exciting on the day that it starts, I feel like. Okay, so is it a Drytron festival? So I checked out uh, Master Duel meta this morning and I didn't see many different decks. It was mostly people were playing Mikanko. There was some Liberal Mancers. There was some Drytron. The thing is, I don't really have the cards for any of that outside of maybe Mikanko. This is Vanquish Soul Festival. Wait, can you play Vanquish Soul in this? What's the, what is even the, the ban list for this one? Uh, the rock is banned. Well, that's a problem. Cause ritual, ritual isn't a um extra deck type. So did they ban a all extra deck or what? Like how how are they making sure people play ritual monsters? Is what I'm a what I'm asking. Right. Like, how are they making sure people actually play Rituals? Look at the loners. Okay, so for the loners, we have Blue Eyes. Boggers. We have Lil Bromancers. Okay. And we have Nouvelle. Okay. Uh... Let's take a challenge. Let's take a challenge and try to win one game with every with all of the loners. I know, I know that can it, it might take a while, but let's try. Let's try for fun. Where is Necros Konami? Unironically, I do have the Necros cards. We could play Necros. Okay, we got Libromancer Fire, Bonded. I don't remember all of this all of these Libromancer cards. We have extra foolish. Oh, so there are Link monsters. And there's Herald of the Arclight. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, look at my Misty Girl. Probably this. Definitely want first appearance. There's like... Uh, what do I want? Probably Doom Broker. This card can make... Okay. Can't be destroyed by battle. You can make this like a tower somehow, right? I forgot how though. I want this. What does Bonded do? It's just a ritual spell. If you ritual summon Libromancer Fire Burst, using it cannot be destroyed or banished by card effect. Uh, can't be destroyed. Oh, okay. So if you make Fire Burst, if you make Fire Burst, uh, by tributing Fire Starter from the field, it's like a towers, but it's still only 2,500, isn't it? Should we set that up? Let's set that up. We can. So we summon this, tribute the geeky boy, like this. And then we just go bonded, right? 
and then we just pray to God that our opponent cannot out this um this situation that we got going on. Banish a ritual Libromancer against 200. Why does it only gain 200? Why are you so weak, Firestarter, man? Uh, Fire Burst, I mean. Here it is. I'm pogging. They can't out this. No way, right? We win. We just won. We won. Surely. So it... It cannot be destroyed by battle. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. It cannot be banished by card effects. It can be booked though. I don't know if, if prediction princesses have ways to book my cards. That would be tragic. They can. <laughs> They're just gonna book my thing. I mean, I mean, I'm so tilted. Oh, nice. Pog. Try again. Right, Geki me now. They do not know. They are unaware. They are unaware. Pre prep duster lightning storm, by the way. Just saying. Okay. Now they can book it to reset it. Um but it still is bigger than this thing. Oh, they're not they're not flipping it face down. They're throwing. Uh, flip, add a prediction princess monster and a ritual spell from your deck to your hand. Okay, they are popping off. They are popping off. Who are you? Monka Christ. Bro, this is so many ultra rares that they that they acquired for this, by the way. Face down. And now what? End phase. Ooh. They're not flipping my fire burst face down. Bro, oh, they're doing stuff to me though. Stop doing. This fire burst is about to go crazy, by the way, I think. They use X crawler. Or what is happening? Wait, I'm in this is skill drain. This is skill drain.
Bro, can I play? Like ever? How do I I cannot win? And now what? Why did they veil her? Because this thing can attack twice. It, this is not, it's not skill drain, it only negates activated effects. So I could have attacked twice still. Can they run over your monster at all in this deck? Um, I do not know the answer to this question. They shouldn't be able to. Dude, there's no way. There's no way they cannot beat a 2800 monster. There's no shot. You're trying to tell me that they are doing like a bazillion effects per turn. 37 minute turn, no joke. And they cannot beat a monster with 2800 attack. There's no way. There's no shot. That's what you're trying to tell me. What the hell is this, by the way? Why am I being floodgated by a crawler right now? Uh-oh. No, it shuffles. That's so cringe. Yeah, we've been outed. We lost. Oh, win condition? No. Okay. Bro, they popped off though. I'm happy for them. Well, I didn't have any disruption though, to be fair. Oh, win condition? I probably just die, right? Oh yeah, I'm dead. I paid 4k. Never mind. I for gore. But what the hell was that crawler, though? Can we talk about that? Play Prediction Princess. Dude, you realize that has like a bazillion ultra rares? I would never. All of the... For some... It, like, look, literally, if the, if, if the Prediction Princesses were like rare or super rares, maybe I would think about it. But both of those rituals were ultra. How many subs? Don't, don't get me started on that. Don't. Do not. Like, the, six ultras? No. No. Uh, I kind of want Libromancers in my hand. Oh. Foggers. Uh, I cannot play the game. Right? Well, I could. I can summon Misty Girl. Extra foolish for Herald? Well, yeah, I can do that. I can extra foolish Herald. But I can't, I don't have a ritual spell if I unless I search a ritual spell. Right? Like, if I extra foolish herald, and then I search a ritual monster, I don't have a way to summon that monster. Okay. 
Okay, at least we get some value out of this called by. That's good. Wait, Ash is legal? Ash is legal. You also can't set back row. Wait, Extra Foolish says that? I hate Extra Foolish Burial, man. Okay, we're not playing this turn. Uh, we're just searching Doom Broker for tough times. And then I we just make it we wall up with a freaking token. Here, look at my Doom Broker. Boom. My turn is done. My deed is done. It is a shame how they butchered the Libromancer spell traps. Like, literally, <laughs> outside of intervention, all of them are so bad, man. The field spell is good, I guess, but like everything else is just so bad. No, not the rock. Oh my god, okay. This is a loner deck chat. I don't actually have the Libromancer cards. Okay, give me a Libromancer. Come on. Yes. Okay, Libromancer bondage. And fire burst. <laughs> uh I am very scared. I am very scared that they um if I summon Doombroker, they just flashing fire it. You think they have flashing fire chat? Because if they have flashing fire, it's a disaster. It's actually a disaster if they have that. I could wait a turn. I'm gonna wait a turn, because then I have an Omni Negate. If only I could have set last turn, man. But freaking extra foolish. Oh, yeah. Oh, you would think that. No! Okay. No, little bro. Little bro is the next card, man. We're gonna have an Omni Gate next turn. Bro, I've been dusted every game so far. Hoggers. Did I draw all my traps? Did I do I have more traps that I can set with the Doom Broker? Or nah? Uh I want fire. F. They have something. The Runics only got the fusion set, so it's like, is Hugin banned? Actually, don't tell me the answer to that, because I'm going to be pissed, because that means they opened the fountain. Which is terrible, because that is technically, like, they shouldn't be. They, that, it's, yeah, no, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> so, if I just go ahead and summon Doom Broker... Let me summon Doom Broker. And I don't know if I have a target for this. I do. Alright, little bro, we have this place. 
Target a liberal you control and a monster your opponent controls. Return yours to the hand. Take control of the opponent. If yours was a ritual, the monster you took control... If it was not a ritual, it goes back in the end phase. Okay, well, that's not a terrible card. Not in this matchup. But... Kind of whatever. This is... Inflicts battle damage. Target a monster, shuffle it into the deck. Oh, I thought it was any card. Okay, it doesn't out fountain. That is bad. Let's go Lil Bromancer uh, Agent. And let's get back the trap card. I guess. And return bondage. I didn't realize you had to put. Oh, it's on. I, I, that's why. That's why I didn't remember that you had to add back. It's only if you add back a spell trap, you have to add something. You have to return. Okay. I forgot about that. I still think it was correct to take that card though. We do want that slumber. Okay. No, my manju, dude. Well, uh, what can we summon? Dynamondo. Target a card. I mean, we can try to get rid of Fountain right now. If I summon Misty Grill by tributing Fire Burst, I can make a Dynamondo. Hmm? Summon Misty Girl, Tribute, Fire Burst. Please let me out the fountain. Ooh, okay. We're pogging. Okay. One win with every loner deck. I don't want to speak too soon, but we might be approaching one out of three. We might be approaching one out of three. I'm just saying. Possibly. Potentially. It could be happening. Yes. Bro, if this last card is another runic, I'm actually so pissed, man. Oh my god. No, I spoke too fucking soon. There's no way. There's no way, dude! A stats oh, come on, man. How? Come on, man. We have nothing. We have nothing left, bro. Yeah, sick. Oh, wait. No, that's not, that's not bad. I can summon that. Bro, what the hell is the kaiju, by the way? Why is there a kaiju? Okay, Omni Negate acquired. Okay. <laughs> Dude! Wait, what can I do? Ooh, I can special summon from the grave. Okay, I'm I'm pogging. That's actually sick. Okay. Uh I summon agent. 
right? They still get to draw with Fountain. They do not. That means they have more Runics. I hate them. I hate them with a burning passion. Don't be freezing curses. Do not! Okay. Does the opponent even have rituals? They they do not. No. They do not. <sighs> what is it? Dispelling? It's not dispelling either. What is this? Ooh. Give me this. Uh... We're doing uh, things. We're performing actions for sure. I'm destroying your fountain, and you don't have Hugin, so you can't do shit about it. Easy clap. Okay, this is not game. In fact, what is this thing? Ritual, draw two, discard two. Hmm. Fireburst mod check? Well, if I summon Fireburst... No, it's not game. Fireburst does double damage? I thought it was only when it... Uh... Oh, any! I thought it was only when it battles monsters. Dude, this was 100 off. I'm so sad. I thought it was only when it um, battled monsters. It's whatever. We're fine. We're fine. No shot. We're we're still winning, chat. No no shot. We're not. They don't have the third fountain. The, they don't have fountain another time, dude. No way. Fire burst. Insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep. Easy clap. Ooh, Manju. I'm summoning Manju. I'm attacking for game with Manju. You can't stop me. I'm BMing. Poggers. It was necessary. Okay. We've achieved the first victory with the first uh, loner deck, but we do need... Okay, this one... 
uh, I just go blind second with this, right? Ooh! It's the, it's the thing. What does it do? I have to go second, right? I think so. I have to go second and just attack them as hard as possible. Are you going to test Centurion this week? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. I'm going to go second. This is not a very ritual hand. Uh, wild Blue Eyes. If a card on the field is destroyed by battle or card, you can special summon this card from the grave or hand. At start of damage step, discard battles, target a card, you opponent controls return to it hand. Okay, this card's not terrible. What's your opinion about runic for higher sprite this format? I'm assuming you mean- Ooh, set monster! Set monster alert! We're killing that! Okay, what the hell is the dictator of D do? While you control the blue eyes, you choose the attack targets for your opponent's attacks. You can only use each once per turn. You can send a blue eyes white dragon from hand or deck to the grave. Spare summon this card from your hand. Discard a blue eyes white dragon or one card that mentions it. Target a blue eyes in your grave. Special summon it. Ooh. Ooh. I'm shrining. I'm dragon shrining. It's circular, lol. <laughs> okay, it's not circular, man. Effect. Uh, send from a deck to grave. Special. Discard one. I'm pogging. Bad chest. Uh... Bro, everything has the same extra deck. So we're going for glory. If the if this dictator attacks over this for if, if it's big enough, we have game, right? Because we can just summon jet dragon from hand. Come on. Oh Easy clap. Best loner deck, dude. The best loner deck. Two out of three. Two out of three. It's never been this easy. Boom. Uh, okay, this one I'm scared of. This one I'm actually scared of because I have no idea what these cards do. I completely forgot. Do we read them before we go? There's no shot we do that. We just go in. We enter the game. We enter the game. Oh, we are being made first. Uh oh. Ooh, I know that card. I know this card. Okay. Uh, ritual with a recipe. If this card is special summoned, add a nouvelle uh, or recipe card from deck to hand. Target an attack, position monster your opponent controls, tribute it, and special summon. Okay. Choose a nouvelle pendulum and a patissiel from hand deck and or extra deck. Special summon both monsters, one to each field. Also this turn, you cannot use monsters except nouvelle and patissiel. Banish this card from your grave. Target a face-up monster on the field. I think our hand is, is not bad. Uh... 
So I'm supposed to... Hold up. Your side of the field. I, I want this. You can have this. Like this. Effect. Bum. Uh, excavate add an excavated nouvelle when a card or effect is activated that targets this card tribute this card in one attack position on either field Burla Bass which one is Burla Bass no. Oh, Borla Bass is, is, the, is this one, right? Yeah. Uh, give me this. Give me this. Things are happening. There's the OG hamburger recipe in here, by the way. Okay, we're setting pendulum scales for whatever reason. Okay, which one do I want to summon with this? Confiras. Add, yes, I want to add. Okay, now, now how do I tar tr target my own cards? The field spell? Oh, I did excavate the field spell. Wait, no, it doesn't target. Oh! So, wait, what is this? Ah! Ah. This the uh, we are cooking. Ooh, I don't. I, the thing is, I have no idea what the hell we are cooking, though. Uh, add a card. The other trap. Yeah. Is it worth summoning this? This one needs to be in my deck. So that I can float into it. Just pass now? Really? 
recipe tribute it yeah this doesn't do anything outside of adding a recipe okay we only have 37 seconds what is this target two cards oh All right, we have 57 seconds. Let me use my trap card. Okay, Omni Negate. That, um... Needs to be stopped. Destroy another card. Then you can destroy that card. Well, no, I don't need to. Bro, everyone is lightning storming me and feather storming, uh, feather dustering me. Stop doing that. The homie. Oh, no. Uh oh. Ghost Ogre? No shot, dude. Uh, we are in a little bit of a timing uh, pickle here. But... Give me uh, this. I don't, I, I don't have time. Please pass the turn. Thank you. Please stop playing the game. Do me a flavor and stop playing cards. No. I have to tribute attack position shit, right? Yeah. Uh oh.
Uh, okay. All we need to do is just summon Hungry Burger, right? Because if we summon Hungry Burger, we tribute all of their monsters. Right? What is going on? I do not know. Wait, why would you bounce this? Hello? What's the card in their hand, by the way? I forgot. Oh, the trap card. Oh, 60. I, I'm actually... How does this work? Uh, which card tributes all my opponent's monsters? Uh, if I summon the Hungry Burger, which card is it? The, the Counter Trap? Oh, if you special summon Hungry Burger. Okay, yeah, okay. So give me, just give me Hungry Burger, man. I'm summoning the burger. I am hungry. Go. I don't have time for shit. Wait, is level six? I didn't know it was six. I thought it was five. I don't have any- I don't have time, bro! Please let me live, dude. Please don't kill me! ZV, thank you for the three. Burger pass. I mean, look, I'm just, I, I am actually scrambling for time, man, because I have, I've never read these cards before in my life. Hare. This card, Hare. No, you top deck the reborn spell. Oh, no, you have this. Oh, come on. Oh, man. They have so much follow up. I probably just die. It's so sad because if I have more time, I actually win. I actually, I actually win with the hungry burger deck, man. Oh, it's tilting. Consecrated light! My entire deck is dead. Why do you keep bouncing this? Okay, we have 93 seconds now. We have the out. What does this do? Manju. So all of the nouvelles are, are darks, right? Okay, so... We have to attack the Consecrated Light first. Kill it. Boom. Uh, okay. This is the fish recipe.
<laughs> Bro. <laughs> Effect. Ooh, the trap. I want the trap. Give me the trap. Give me the trap. Oh, I can't. I can't add it. I'm not ready for this. Go! Cease! Target a spell. No, I want this one. I don't care. I'm summoning from hand. Who, who cares? Boop. Boop. Draw one. Add one. Well, I never get... I it feels like I never get more time. <laughs> It feels like I never get more time. Uh, Blood Rain, thank you for the gift sub. Also, Ictuzio, thank you for the 11. Not the Arabesque! <sighs> can I recycle this? I can. Oh, yes. Give this. Set. 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 Uh. Oh, deck is cracked. <laughs> Well, if I had more time, man. If only I had more time. Okay, that is irrelevant. That's actually good that they drew that. Arabesque. Uh. Heck. Wait, what? I can't... Why can't I... Oh god, this is a disaster. Well, it's fine. I can still pop this, right? Because it pops spell traps. But that's not what I intended to do. The homie. Cease. Now, please stop playing the game. Thank you. Oh, my God, dude. Ah. 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 <sighs> Bro, we won a game with every loner deck, and all it took us was four games. We only lost once. The loner decks are cracked. The loner decks are actually cracked, chat. 75% win rate with the loner decks? Ooh. Whee! Why is this deck not played in the TCG? Um, I feel like this game was a pretty good showcase of why people don't really play this deck, but, you know. And ironically, it is quite... It, it can be quite fun. I can see why if you know the cards, you know. <laughs> okay, now let's build our own deck. 
Let's build our own deck, and we're we're typing the necros word into the into the search bar. We're playing the necrosis. Let's go. For sure, right? That is, we have. That's what we have to do. We have no choice. We have no choice. H O D arbitrary. Thank you for the five gift subs. Holy shit! Thank you. Appreciate the support, everybody. Thank you so much. Also, anonymous gifter with the gift sub. Appreciate that as well. Thank you so much. Uh. Yes, we are playing the Necroz. Okay. Two Valks. Uh, two Colossalus? Mm, three Shurid. Two Collider, two Cycle, two Exo. Preparation of Rites. Mm hmm. Okay, this deck is literally looking like it's from 2015 right now. Is there there has to be new Necros support that I can use? Surely I'm not just playing Necros 2015. Okay, Arc Light is limited. That's a problem. Incantations. Incantations, you say? We could play incantations. We could play incantations. The reason why I don't want to play uh, Herald of the Diviner is because Arc Light is limited, and Arc Arc Light limited. If we use our one Arc Light for Herald of the Diviner, we don't have it for Kaleidoscope anymore, which is kind of annoying. Dogmatica, ah, uh, Dogmatica. I only have two Nadir Servants, but technically we could, but it's the same kind of issue, right? It's the same kind of problem. Now, Impcantations? Impcantations. Which one are- which one is the- are the good Impcantations? We want the one- reveal a ritual. This one adds a monster. We can play some Impcantations. Necros in the festival where almost all the extra deck is banned. Look, I'm not saying it's a good deck. I'm just trying to have some fun right now. If we were able to win games with Nouvelles, surely we can win a freaking game with Necros. Surely. Um. Reveal a ritual monster in your hand, and this one adds a ritual monster in the grave. So, I believe you want to play... No, this one reveals a ritual spell. I, I think you want to play the ones... Need more candles. Is there only... Is there really only three incantations? I feel like there was... Oh no, there's literally four. I'm literally blind. Okay. This one adds a monster from deck to hand. Uh, You definitely want... One of each minimum. We can play like a smaller six of these. What else is there? We go second, right? Because we want to trish individuals, right? So we play, we play like, we can play like board breaker necros going second, right? Like duster. Uh, we can play lightning storm. Right? We can play. Actually, we could play big incantations. Hold up. We have Chalice Slime is reveal this card in your hand. This card, a card, if you do special summon incantation from your deck. That has to be a target like for, for prep, right? And then... Uh, also, the incantations are kind of good. Unironically. This is too many cards, though. It's cracked. Uh, blue eyes ultimate. Do we have any? Do we have any rank fours? Or are all exceeds banned? Ah. 
Okay, so we play Dynamondo. I only have one. That's fine, though. Uh, do we have Star Eater? We don't! Okay, we need, like, the targets for Kaleido. Uh, we need, like, Fusion or Synchros with high level. That's all? I get nothing? I get this. Level 5. That's, that's useless. Master of Chaos for two unicorns? Well, yeah, I guess. This is hell of an extra deck, dude. Okay, so the Kaleidoscope is kind of Omega a little bad. Any other level, like, three or four, maybe? No. Come on, man. Cross Sheep? Yeah, I guess. So, why did they keep so many Link monsters legal, then? Hello? Link? Uh... Okay. I'm not crafting those. We have a cross sheep situation going on. Two cross sheeps. I guess. We don't even have fairies in the hand, I think. So... I mean, for who needs an extra deck? We can't summon this. I don't think we can be stopped, anyways. Let us begin. Prosperity is legal? Uh, yeah. Extrav? We could play Extrav, however, if we banish our one Herald, we have a problem, right? Manju is a fairy, true, true. I mean, the hand is good, actually. The hand is actually completely cracked. Are you ever going to Pendulum Summon because Master Duel Proficiency Test? Wait, do we still need to... Oh, right, we do need to still finish that. Uh, I'm ashing. No, come on! Alright, surely... This hand can break a Dark Magician board, right? Surely this hand is good enough to beat Dark Magician, please. I cannot take a loss here. I would be so sad. Oh no, they have everything. I think they miss every time. No, they don't. Okay. Well, now they only hit that. If Dark Magician is normal or special, target a card your opponent controls, banish it. Okay. Could have been worse, like called by on Branak. It could have been worse. Wait, isn't isn't it kind of nuts to resolve Trishula against this deck? Because they are all about like keeping Eternal Soul on the board. If I Trish them, surely they just die, right? I feel like their hand is custom made though. Wait, why why another rod? 
Why another rod? Okay. We gin lock them here. <laughs> Give me the Bryonic. Uh we're prepping. Uh give me the Claw Solace. Bomb. Uh... The... Use the potato. <laughs> the potato. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Use the potato, Madge. I'm trishing! Okay. Well, I'm still trishing though, right? They can banish a card, but... Well, phenomenal. Maybe I should have used the potato. Okay. 
I can summon these. But I'm not sure what I want from it yet. Why do we need to spin that? Uh, I do not know. I mean, it, it, it lets them banish, right? Every time they summon a, a, a Dark Magician. He did have second circle. No, they discarded that one. That one's in the graveyard. That's why I did it. They, they would have to go normal summon rod and search it again. That's why I think it's fine. I guess we just wait. Had we used slightly different ordering there, maybe it was possible to, like, uh, kill them? If I had used the, the potato somehow? I don't know. Can you miss once for me? No. They play more than one Dark Magician, right? Surely? Alright, look at my Clausulus. Easy clap. Easy clap. The deck is... The deck is... Unbeatable. Chat, it is unbeatable. All right, we're ritual summoning. I miss Necroz, man. I actually miss Necroz. Okay, don't you make me go first. Don't you dare making me start. Okay. I don't actually know what we do if anyone makes us go first. Because, like, Unicorn doesn't seem like it's a good plan. Honestly, we probably just set up a freaking, like, a Valkyris play, like, back in the day, you know? We could do it, like, in the good old days, where we summon a Valkyris and then we tribute our entire board and we get some card advantage, you know what I mean? Maybe we do that. Oh, Gishki! That's right, you can play Gishki, based! Uh, Rogers Taco Stand, thank you for the five months, appreciate that, welcome back, welcome back. Are we gonna get hand looped? Please do not hand loop me, for the love of God. Why do I always draw the potato? It's sad that ruler is banned. The ruler setup was so consistent. Are you talking about uh, Vanity's ruler? Ah, easy. They knew. They knew they had no chance, man. Can you show the deck list? I mean, I literally just threw it together. You can see it, but there is not much thought that went into this list. Uh, you know, th this is it, but don't, you know, don't, like... We're just experimenting at this point. The thing is about Necroz, you do need... Like, Necros of Trishula is an ultra rare for some reason, which is kind of annoying. I'ma keep spamming Magician Souls in chat until you respond. Well, there you go, I responded. I don't know why I would want to play it in this deck. The potato again! Like... The, the ritual spells have a graveyard effect, so sending them to the graveyard is technically good. However, uh, doing it with, like, Magician Souls is not great because you still have something on the board, right? Ooh, Omni Negate has been acquired. Okay, this is a problem. You pitch the incantation spell? Well, I rarely have the incantation spell, though. I don't want to go through the motions to search all those cards to then just draw random cards. I don't know. 
play two potatoes. Uh, are we playing three right now? Wait, they have everything. They have pre prep this and the field spell. What the hell is going on? I've played this deck once, and even I know that that's cracked. That's actually cracked. Why did they give me this thing in defense position, by the way? I thought I think they can only tribute an attack. Oh no, the burger recipe. The burger recipe has been acquired. Now the question is, do they know what they're doing or are they just clicking the buttons, right? You will probably never know. Oh no, the second the second piece to the burger combo. They got the they got the burger and the recipe. Okay, no. Oh, they're switching it to attack this way. I see. But now you're not... You didn't target with this, though. I don't know if I like this. You could have just gave, made this attack for, to begin with and then just targeted this instead. Bro, the, the field spell is actually pretty good for uh, Nouvelle. Like, adds, fixes your hand, and draws cards in the end phase, and recycles. That's actually cracked. Okay, the Omni Negate Trap. If they have both traps, they can kind of... They can tribute my entire board on my board. On my turn, right? If you have both traps and you play the Hungry Burger, you can just... Or does the Continuous Trap only Ritual Summon new Val cards? Oh, it only, it only summons new Val. Okay, that's kind of a bummer. Okay, we are in the end phase. So all they have is the Omni Negate trap, I see. Uh, look at my Necrots of Unicorn. Uh, add a ritual spell from deck to hand. That's what I want. Uh, we could try to bamboozle them right now by going Kaleidoscope. They think we're going to summon Unicorn, and then we go Tribute Shurit for Trishula, and then we Chain Block Trishula. I like that. Let's do that. They did not fall for it. Why did they not fall for it? That does not make sense. Why did you negate this? I mean, I'm fine with them negating this, but sure. Uh, is this use or activate? Use, unfortunate. Well, discard a card, special summon incantation from deck. Hmm. Thoughts on Valmonica? I haven't tried it yet. We can discard Trish and then cycle it back. Special summon... This. Wait, you can't use... Oh, you can only use one per turn. I didn't know that. Okay. That is unfortunate.
I was unaware. Distributed and added. Okay, I, I feel like I could banish this. Because I can just run over both of these. Well, I can't run over this right now. Banish the ritual. Okay. I'll banish the ritual. And then I, surely I banish this. Ooh, another pre-prep. That's a good hit. <laughs> Now, originally, the reason why I summoned this one was because I wanted to add Valkyrus and summon Valkyrus to tribute some inc incantations to draw some cards, which I can't do right now, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm still going to grab Valkyrus for next turn. Kind of messed up that we we screwed up the talisman drag. If you attack the ritual, oh, they trigger on attack target too. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I didn't know that either. Good, good. That that would have been a problem if I if I played into that. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Change all defense position monsters to attack. Uh oh. Uh oh. Does anything lock you? Uh, the incantations lock you into rituals. While you have them, you cannot summon from the extra deck. Uh, does anything crazy happen if this resolves, or...? I think nothing happens. I'm kind of scared, though. Okay. Have we ever finished the 2011 recap on stream? We have not yet. We have not yet. The grind game does kind of go hard with this card. We kind of have to out... We have to play around another uh, thingy, right? They, they might have another... You know, you know. Ooh, Cycle. Cycle is a fine draw. Hmm. Uh, I kind of want to summon another Trish. How would I do that? So, activate Chalice Lime. What we have to do is just always summon Trishula Chain Blocked, right? Now I'm just going to discard this. Target a Ritual in the Grave, add it back. Okay, that's what I want to do. Summon a target Brian X. Hmm. Unicorn. 
Target shirt. The problem is, if I if I Bryonac for Trish now and then they just ritual, then they counter trap my my ritual spell. I don't have another ritual spell. But I feel like I kind of need to go for it. I could have gone for just activate cycle if they if they don't negate I summon Valk tribute sure it and then use Valk to draw cards sure it to search Trishula and so on and so forth maybe because now if they just negate this I kind of can't do anything it would have to be the hard draw counter trap though because they didn't have it they didn't search it there it is that's unfortunate man. Uh, question. Does anything bad happen if I attack this? I feel like it. Th I feel like yes. I feel like the answer to that question is yes. I feel like I can't attack it right now. I feel like if I attack this, uh, the world is going to blow up. Oh, I take damage because I didn't ritual summon. That's fine. Hmm. Could have played this one differently. Ooh, the Manju top deck is nice, probably. The Manju top deck is nice, probably. For them. They still have the hamburger recipe in hand, right? So if they ever get to ritual summon... Well, they could do it right now, right? They could summon Hungry Burger. And then banish the, the chef recipe to cook my entire board but it wasn't it wouldn't be that big of a problem honestly because if my board ever if my board ever dies i just get to use my ritual spells in the graveyard like my follow-up's actually quite nice if my board is ever empty which is th these incantations are kind of just vibing here I, they are not really doing anything Maybe I should focus more on summoning Valkyrus to tribute the incantations away. That seems like a thing I should be doing. Okay, we're going battle phase. They're clearing some incantations for me. I'm not I'm not stopping you from doing that, no. The only thing is I kinda need to draw a ritual spell. If I draw any way into a ritual spell, I'm probably fine. Okay. That's not I don't I don't mind that. That's fine. Does this destroy? No, it only negates. That's that's fine then. Okay. Ooh, I can crash now. It's a lot of damage though, because this thing is weak AF. But I could crash, worst case, if I brick. Like if I don't draw a ritual spell, I could just crash to get my field empty. Or we just top deck access to a ritual spell, it's not really that hard. Uh, okay. Boop. All right, so. Uh, pa, pa, pa. We grab Clausulus here, I think.
Necros Mirror. I really want to summon Valk, dude. But I, I do need to Trish them, right? There's like no way around it. I feel like that needs to happen. Because if I Valk them, I'm not going to Trish them this turn. Unless I top deck with... Unless I top deck... I should not have gone for Clausalus directly. If I still could use Clausalus, I could do both. I kind of messed that up. Actually... I still can. I can still go Valk, Tribute, Shrit. Uh, um, this is. Okay, hold up. Let me cook for a second. Imperm? That's in the loner deck? Well, I'm negating that. Okay, now I can't Trish them. Oh wait, I can. Psycho. Uh... Wait, why can't I summon Trish? Is this one exact? Oh, cycle is exact! I'm actually so tilted, man. I thought I could tribute Valk and Manju for Trish. I didn't know it was exact. Oh, come on, man. No. <sighs> it's, a, it's an actual tragedy, man. It's actually a tragedy. Oh, uh, all Necro spells are exact? Well, the thing is, it's been eight years, man. It's been eight years. I'm not used... Oh. It's actually a tragedy. We just wasted a card in hand for no reason. It's, uh, it's actually uh, tragic. Mm. Three cycle unicorn. Man. Oh man. Come on, dude. Oh, hoggers. Uh, at this back. And now we have an empty board. 
we're actually pogging still. We need to be careful though, because we are running out of ritual spells. We have two cycles gone already. Two cycles are gone already. Kaleido. Banish one of the Bryanax. Add Kaleidoscope. Uh, mirror. Banish. I mean, we can banish one Trish. I kind of want to cycle it back, though. Let's banish a Bryanax. This. Uh, just, I mean. Give me this back. <laughs> Let's go, we're resolving. Necros undefeated, easy clap. Oh! The proficiency test. Back at it again. Let's go. Question. Poggers? Okay. Five out of eight questions. What's the clear condition? Special summon a monster ten times. Okay, easy. All right. Five out of eight questions. What is the name of this card? Well, this is White Prince, right? No! I actually didn't know. How did people hear the voice of the Herald? This one makes sense, right? Oh, come on, dude. I'm actually 0 for 2. Which of the following cannot be added? Okay, you can add Dark Armed. You can add Clifford Stealth. I believe Vanity's Fiend has 1500 defense. Yes. Okay. How many vessels? Oh, come on, man. 2000. Because it has 2000 attack. Bongers. Okay, nice. The comeback. What is the name of this card? Uh, Fiend Scorpion. What type is this card? Machine. What is the name of this card? Oh, this, this one's evil. Okay, it's not Raphion. It's not Lazion. It's one of these two. Okay, nice. 50-50. Wow. Easy clear. Six out of eight. Six out of eight. No one can do it like this. No one can do it like this. We are definitely proficient. Okay. Uh, we need to special summon ten times. Yes. 
Give me those jimmies. Uh, Leo Boss, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate you. Also, Mr. Gibba, thank you for the 14 months. Appreciate you. We need to recover from the Vanquish Soul losses. Dude, listen, listen. We are going to recover from the Vanquish Soul losses. We're going to have a Vanquish Soul Redemption stream soon. Soon. It's going to happen. This hand is concerning, by the way. Actually, no, this one's fine. Oh. 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 Someone bricked. Oh. Uh, okay. So... F. Look at my incantation ritual spell. I'm not gonna ash myself. This one searches a monster. Yes, that's what I want. Beep. Okay, I do need to remember I can't trish them while they have nothing in the graveyard. So, we're probably gonna try and start with a nice little Valkyrus into this back row, you know? A, a, a cheeky little Valkyrus? I'm thinking, you know, a little, a little, a little Valkyrus. I could actually summon it by using this card, right? By tributing these two. I don't think that's better than just using Cycle. Like, I kind of want to use Cycle, Tribute Shurit, Summon Valk, Search for Shurit, and then use Valk to Tribute the Incantation. That is... what you would commonly refer to on Twitch as Park Champion. We also get the prep value for adding back the ritual spell. I love when that happens. I love whenever we get to do that. Okay, called by unsure it is not a problem. Now you can get trished, my friend. Ooh. Prepared to get trishulad. Yes. Well, first we need to draw something. Well, we can Trish them anyways, even if they have like a... Well, if they Imperm here, we, we can't Trish them again because they have nothing on the field. Yep. Uh, that is annoying. You're being annoying right now. I just want you to know that. I just want you to know you're being cringe. You're being cringe. But it's fine. I'll forgive you. Well, I can't kill them anyways. Nexo, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate you. Bro, Valkyris is 2,900 attack. If you put a gun to my head an hour ago and asked me how much defense is Valkyr uh, how much attack is Valkyris have, I would say 28. I would have said 28 in a heartbeat. Like, instantly. I'm ashing this. I let I let them send it because uh, it's at 1. So, I figured it's good if it's gone. Necros is undefeated. Necros actually cannot be beaten. Have you ever thought about that? Have you thought about the fact that this deck cannot be defeated? Isn't It's kind of a scary thought. It is kind of a scary thought. Too many Mikanko in this event? I'm gonna be honest, 
We should probably find a combo for this deck when it goes first, where you just make Valkyrus tribute your intent. You should probably play more towards Valkyrus. Valkyrus is kind of good. I'm not going to use the word busted because it's 2023. But going first against, like, if your opponent makes you start and you have a way to, like, have a Valkyrus in hand, tribute your entire board, have, like, six cards in hand, just pass, Valk in hand to skip their battle phase, you're probably Gucci. Okay. Same again. I'm going to let them do it and then Ash the Arc Light. I know this increases the level, which can be dangerous against Ritual decks, but I think it's good if the one of thingy is gone. Also, I want something in the graveyard for Trishula. Multiple reasons to use, use the Ash a little bit later. Ooh, it's another chef. But this is not a loner chef. They are not a loner, Andy. They actually... They are actually chefing. Okay. Oh, is the is the thingy... Is the, is the pendulum a fairy? Oh, it is. That's so broken, man. That is so broken. We're gonna be cooked. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Can you ash these effects to tag out? Because it summons from deck? Yeah, I think you can Ash this. That's actually... Ash is pretty good against Nouvelle. On your own turn as well. Nouvelle is kind of fun. It's a shame it's like a bazillion ultra rares. They missed easy. Bro, Trish is really good against this deck, isn't it? Uh, I Invincible, thank you for the full year. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, this summons itself, but it's already searched. So they just draw here and pass. I hope they don't have the counter trap. They didn't search it. They would have had to draw it at this point. There is one set. Is it the sub sound that's going okay? Yes. Wait, you just summoned Dynamondo? Why? I guess you can just revive on my turn anyways. Okay. All right. I mean, my hand is good. My hand is good, but we'll see. Ooh. Uh, how to get banned one? Thank you for the six months. The effect Veiler. Okay, that's bad. The game is fun without that roach. You are right. You are right. The game is more fun without the roach. You are spitting.
do I ash that? I could ash it. The only problem is if there's a counter trap and they use it on my ritual spell, once again, I am pretty damn cooked. The problem is, what else do I ash? I guess I can keep it for next turn. You should probably ash the summon from deck effect. Well, they're not going to use that this turn, right? That's the thing. They're not going to do that. They're not going to be able to do that. Because they have no way to target their own monster. And I'm not going to target it. So, you know. Please don't counter trap this. Please let me do have some fun. Just save your counter trap for the Trishula. Okay, nice. All right, chain link one Trish, chain link two Shirit. I was called by all along. Okay. That's fine. They didn't have the counter trap. All right. Well. Beep. Uh, beep. Snipe. The hungry burger is gone. Okay, nice. I don't know if that's actually nice, but... I'm pogging. Bro, these incantations are freaking useless, man. Come on. They are always chilling on my board, just vibing, doing nothing, locking me out of my extra deck. Uh, reveal two novels, different names, chooses one to add. Wait, this is also just a plus one. No. No, stop using spells that are all plus one, man. Zemio, thank you for the three months. Okay. Desperation draw, poggers. Ooh. Ooh, Necros undefeated. We cannot be stopped. Oh. Oh. We are literally unbeatable. I think I'm taking out the incantations. Actually, never change a running system. I'm taking out the incantations as soon as we lose. As soon as we lose a game, I'm going on tilt and I'm, I'm, I'm taking out the incantations. Frame one. Frame one, after I lose a single game, I'm tilting and I'm taking out the incantations. But until then, they can stay. This hand is nice.
not look at the symbol, man. <laughs> oh, God, dude. No. <laughs> they just Alt F4, dude. No shot. <laughs> <laughs> Connection failed. Come on, yes. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's so funny. That's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> you just wait for a response and then the thing starts blinking at the top. That's so good. Oh man. <sighs> Uh, okay, dude. <laughs> oh, man, that was great. That was actually great. Disconnect an angle. We've been DDoSed by the floodgate enjoyer, it seems. We've been DDoSed by the floodgate enjoyer. Oh, no response. Okay, Poggers. We were too powerful. We've won too many games in a row. We are no longer allowed to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Okay, never mind. We're back. Set four. No. No. Goodbye, incantations. Goodbye, incantations. It was nice. Okay, so what kind of what kind of degeneracy do the fly, the Drytron players do these days? What do they do? Oh, they hard drop Benton, man. Okay, unfortunate. I just opened Benton thingy, hoping it was like limited or something, so I could be tilted. But it's actually at three. It's unfortunate. But they don't have uh, Fafnir, right? They don't have the... They do? Didn't I check for extra deck cards? Hmm. Surely they don't have Fafnir, he says, as they attempt to XYZ summon Fafnir. Augers. Fafnir is the only exceed in this event. Cool. Very nice. Bro, stop, man. I'm already dead.
<laughs> yeah, dude, make more! More! Dude, if I lightning storm... They just add back Benton from the graveyard and, and the ritual spell. A lightning storm is literally minus for me right now. I can just hope they negate it. I hope. Let, let's hope they negate it. Why would you do that? <laughs> you just get more cards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, come on. That is very cringe. Uh, I think we lost. I think it is safe to say that we have been defeated. To the Dry Tron. Very cringe. Who was, who was the guy that said Dry Tron is fair in this event because they, they don't have the, the broken floodgates? Who said that? Step forward. I know someone said that earlier. I know for sure someone said that. <laughs> I'm just letting them kill me so that it counts for the proficiency mission. By the way, otherwise I would be surrendering. But we did special summon three times. I want that to count. It needs to count. They don't they they can't they can't they they have they have no fairy, surely. Unfortunate. So unlucky actually. Just attack me, dude! Attack me for the love of God. Come on, man.
Okay, now we're tilting. Now we're tilting. These are kind of trash. <laughs> bop, bop, bop. Uh, uh. Yes. Uh, send you. Droplet Droplet We could play Droplet We could also just play Dark Ruler though, right? Because we don't really kill them anyways. What's the benefit of Droplet? Mm -hmm. Is Gungnir not worth playing? Probably not. Frost is legal? Yes, but Valkyrus draws cards. I'd like to see Thrust. You could probably play Thrust, yeah. Add a recipe card from your deck or grave to hand. Uh, I'm surely I keep Ash for this, right? They probably search this, and I just Ash the teleport for two or whatever. Okay, they search. That probably means they already have it, right? Oh, they have this already. Okay. Do I Ash the Ritual spell? I feel like that's not bad. It is not once per turn. But if they don't have another way to it... I'll Ash it. Dark Ruler is not great in this matchup, I think, because it doesn't stop the trap. I'm most worried about the trap card. Okay, they have a ritual spell anyways, but it's not the same one, so it doesn't get the bonus effect if they summon the level one, right? So it's not that bad. Right? Like, yeah, they can still do this, but they don't get the bonus effect, so it, it wasn't worthless to Ash completely. Right? So they set up a Pendulum Scale... Reveal five. They hit something. Ooh, they play talents. That's scary. Well, in that case, I don't think it matters where I ash. They play pretty much... They do pretty much everything anyways. If they open... Field spell, pre-prep, ritual spell, the level one, like it's just they have everything anyways, right? I can't do anything. The the thing is, somehow this deck always looks like it's doing a lot, but then it ends on something like this, dude. Right? It's like you're drawing a freaking custom hand almost, and then you're presenting this board. 
What's going on here? Like, hello? Ooh. Well, knowing my luck, they probably have the counter trap ready to go, which is a problem. So this only triggers when it is targeted, right? I can target the back row, no problem. Oh, they have called by anyways. Okay. Uh, That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate because it means I cannot summon Trishula. I cannot summon Trishula because I don't have the right levels in the graveyard. Because I go prep, add Brionac, search Trish, but I can't summon it. Uh, I think I just Dark Ruler and attack this, right? Dark Ruler, attack, main phase 2, Dynamondo, shuffle this into the deck. Kind of works out. Kind of works out, I guess. Oh. I do want to out this, I think. Dude, Dark Ruler animation is so creepy. Well, I don't know if this deck can kill me from here. I don't think it would. That's why I didn't add Valkyrus. Well, we'll see. I don't think it would kill me here. But their hand has been very good so far, and they're following it up with more very good cards, so. We shall see. It's once again not the loner as well. There's just people out here enjoying uh, a little bit of cooking. Wait, what? Why would you send this? Because you need it to be level 7, I guess? No, this is level 6. Oh, they called by my Herald anyways. True, you're right. I forgot. Uh... Okay, we need to chain. And then we just hope we don't die. But they get to summon the thing here, so it's actually scary.
Do you have the counter trap? But if they are trying to grab the counter trap, it probably means they're not going to go for game, which I don't know if this deck even can. Can this deck OTK? Like, easily or, or nah? I don't think it can. It doesn't look like it can. All right. All right. Can we resolve a Trishula through... Oh, this is very important. Can we resolve a Trishula through one uh, counter trap? Probably the answer is yes. If I activate Collide, though, I mean, they either have to negate it or they get Trished, right? So, kind of chill. Yeah. Is this a master duel event? Yes. Now, please do not have like a fake bailer or something, because it is a uh, it is not a the it's not the loner deck, so they could they could be playing hand traps. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Well, it's not too bad. As long as I'm resolving my Trishula, I'm not too worried about this. Uh, I guess banish this. Banish this. And banish ooh, another diviner, that's good. The thing is, I can summon one of these, but it's not really a good play. It's not really a good move, but I kind of need to run over some of their stuff, right? What is more important to clear, the Hungry Burger or the, the level 1? Probably the level 1 even. Right? Because if I leave the level 1 and they contribute it for a ritual summon, I'm in large trouble. It's not going so, so well. Even though we... I mean, we did resolve the Trishula, but... I should have summoned it. Was did, did this have to target an attack? I had to. I, sh I had to summon the thing in defense position. Oh, they had it anyways. I had to summon my Trisha in defense. I didn't know this thing had this effect. I didn't read this one because I never summoned it myself earlier when I played it. You did banish their level six. Most lists only play one, so that's good. Well, yes, I guess if that's true, but oh, they linked this off this does not go into the scale then right no it doesn't okay <laughs> pog they forgot about unicorn i i i forgot about unicorn right now i'll be honest with you i forgot about that for a second 
I did forget about that. I was like, oh, that outs my unicorn. But no, it doesn't kick. <laughs> I almost forgot. Okay, they just can't play. Nice deck. Necros of Valkyrus, huh? Necros of Valkyrus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Trish too. We can Trish them. We can Trish them again. Uh, if I have another mirror in the deck, which I do. Unless it's another call to buy. Imperm also stops it. There's a lot of ways they can stop this, but first we're going to attack. Okay, they can add back the burger. Why didn't they shuffle and draw? They had no recipe in the graveyard. You need a recipe for this. Uh, banish... Unicorn? Mirror. Activate mirror. Summon Trish. I sure it. Ooh, this. What's important in the graveyard? Is this important in the graveyard at all? Or can I leave this here? So I would just banish the Diviner then. I mean, I don't think they have anything important. But I'll, I'll just banish the Diviner just in case they play something to revive it. Ooh, we get that. That's good. And we banish a Talons from their hand. Okay. Uh, I guess... Just to be safe, maybe I shouldn't have summoned anything in attack position, to be honest. I'll, I'll grab a Valkyrs, though. That's what I wanted to do, but... Oh, I could have made Dynamondo. I should have made Dynamondo. Out the field spell, get follow-up. Oh, Dynamondo was sick here. Oh, no, I don't have it anymore. I only play one because I only have one. I should play more, though. This deck should play more than one Dynamondo, to be honest. Because it's like, you actually do need more in the grind game. Because it's surprisingly hard to actually kill people with this deck, but... Oh, they just pass, dude. They do just pass. Talons is awkward in this event. Well, I mean, yeah, there's not that many hand traps in here. Boom! Send you for game. Easy. I miss Necros, dude. I actually do. Okay, can we do the next stage of the proficiency test now? Yes, we can. Phenomenal. Let us proceed. Oh, we got 300 gems. Let's go. Whee! 
Isn't there one? Fusion Synchro Xyz. Well, we're not going to be able to do that today, are we, Konami? What a good timing to release this thingy with this as a clear condition and then drop the ritual event on us. What the hell are you... Wait, why, what, what, what do you mean? Anyways. This is Amphibious Bugroth MK3. Yes. Which of the following Synchro Monsters is included in the starting deck? No. Which special summoning method requires monsters with the same level? Exceeds. When synchro summoning Quario Condrax, which of the following monsters are pro- Bro, I don't know, man. Okay, Rion and Fiend and Rosenix. Seven. This is four, four, eight, nine. Citri? Easy clap. I think that's a level two. That's what I went off of. What is the level of this card? One. Which of the following statements about exceeds are correct? They have no level. I was confused because the bottom right one, technically you can't exceed summon face down, but you know. I mean, surely? Oh, come on, dude. Which card is depicted in the illustration shown on Ateria Forest? Okay, Cliff? Bro! Mantis Barkyo. Bro, I, how am I supposed to see that in 15 seconds, dude? Anyways, we cleared. Bro, how are you supposed to look at this thing in 15 seconds and find one of the cards? Where is Barkion? Where the hell is Barkion? There's Landois. No, actually, where is Barkion? In the sky? This? You're telling me I'm supposed to look at the card? Bro, what? I can't... No. That's actually scamming. That's actually scamming. The test is too hard. You heard it here first. Anyways, we passed. Okay, I want to add more Dynamondos to this deck. Dynamondo is kind of cracked. So we're just going to... It's in the pack, right? We can just open 10 packs for funsies. We can open 10 packs for funsies. Uh, I'll make a prediction for how many, how many URs we pull. It's running. It's even in this pack, right? We might just pull it. It's not. Now that's a missed opportunity. Why didn't they include Dynamondo in here? This event is crack cocaine for me. I love my Megalith so much. I do think it's quite fun. I do think the event is quite fun. Alright, the Gamba is running, everybody. Gamba, how many Ultras we're going to pull in the next... We're, we're going to open exactly 10 packs. I'm assuming that's enough to craft one Dynamondo. So we're going to open 10 packs in just about like 20 seconds when the prediction has run out. It was in the other pack. Uh... Well, that's gone now, isn't it? So, you know. We could also open this one, because I still don't have... I don't have this. I kind of want this. Uh, What do I need from this pack? Nothing, really. I would... Uh, this one would be nice. But I would rather go for the flame thingy. Let's begin. Okay, we're looking for super rares here. We won't we want no ultra rares. Noted, everyone oh everyone note that noted that down. We we want no ultras, we want hella super rares. 
Good. Good. Exactly what I was looking for. Exactly what I was looking for. Teller Knight Lyran. Okay, cool. now, look. Don't give me nothing at all. No, a rainbow pack. The worst kind of pack. We cannot get... We're not going to get a super rare out of this. Actually, we are. Easy clap. Hita and Sakitama. That's not bad. Fog, super rare. More supers. Hey, look, look, hey, don't, don't do this to me. I need super rare CP and you give me the yellow packs glow and then nothing in there. Twice. Literally twice. I don't do it a third time. Okay. That's enough super rares, at least. It wasn't great pulse, two ultras. But it's enough super rares to make a second Dynamondo. That's fine. All right, Pepe D situation approaching. Uh, pa -pa, super rare. Obtained order. Pop, pop. That is enough. Okay, phenomenal. You know you could have pulled Dynamonda from the Cash Tira pack? Yeah, but I need nothing from the Cash Tira pack, so I don't know if it's smart to open it. You know? Where did your dust go? Were you not able to pull the Vanquish Soul cards? No, I was not able to buy packs. The My Steam store didn't work. And I didn't get it to work for like uh, an hour or so. It wasn't an hour, it was like 15 minutes that we tried on stream to make it work, and then I had to craft all the cards, which is a bummer. Bro, everyone is cooking in this event. I don't mind it, though. The deck isn't like, uh, the deck is fine, I guess. Does it work again? Well, I didn't try, because I didn't, I don't, I, I, I don't want to pay Pega credit at the moment, because I have the Vanker Soul cards, you know? So, I guess it all came, uh... It was actually fine, because I didn't have to pay a credit. I barely had enough to craft the cards. I would actually be down to play some Nouvelle if it wasn't, like, a bunch of Ultras. Like, that's just the type of deck that it feels bad to spend Ultra Air CP on, unironically. Like, it's just, it's just not worth it. It's fun for this event, but it's like, it's too many ultras, right? Because how many of these are ultra rares? This one is an ultra. Probably need three, right? Maybe at least two. Uh, this one is an ultra. You need at least one. This was an ultra. You probably play three. Like, it's like, it's like at least six or seven ultras. So, it's just, like, not worth it, man. It's better than Libromancer? Well, yeah, but that's not what I'm comparing it to at all, right? I haven't said- I didn't say Libromancer is better than it. Libermancer is also fun, but sad that it has that amount of ultras, right? You know? 
but i mean it does kind of make sense that they don't only publish the most powerful cards as ultra rays because they do want the people enjoying these kind of decks to also you know pepega credit but it does feel bad 10 plus if you include the viner well yeah i have the viner already like I, I i genuinely when i when i calculate these things i don't count like normal like staples because i would probably have those anyways this is probably the best uh nouvelle opener we've seen isn't it do they already have one of the traps in hand no but they probably add one now yeah counter trap All right, they got one ca one back. Okay, calm down, dude. That's a problem. This opener is actually cracked. Oh, they recycle arc light. That's not that's nice. Okay, well. Better than Vanquishsoul? Well, not for me, because I, I do like to play Vanquishsoul more than I like to play uh, Nouvelle, so not it's not really comparable, because I would probably only play Nouvelle in this event, and not really after, right? Hmm... Did you watch the Bestial Runic deck profile yet? I have not, unfortunately. It's kind of... It's kind of... We're in a weird situation, to say the least. Uh... I need to prep first. I wanted to prep for adding one back from the grave, but it's not going to work out here. Unicorn. Because we do need to chain block the Valkyrus, right? We cannot summon uh, the Trish, I mean. We can't just summon it and activate effect. But they probably have like impermanent shit as well, so it's likely just doomed. Oh, okay. That's not bad for us. I would argue that's actually pretty good for us. Uh, okay. Interesting. Can't use it again, unfortunately. But that's not too bad. We have to summon in defense, right? Otherwise, they can tribute my shit. I mean, they probably, uh, they still have ways to stop my, stop me from playing, which is very annoying. Ash counter trap. We just pass here. Don't know if there's a world we survive. I mean, we have Valk, so we probably survive unless they have called by, but they can set up enough again. Probably, we probably lose this game. Their setup was quite strong. Imp oh, I see. 
That's smart. What does this one do? Target three cards in the graveyard. Shuffle them into the deck. Two J's, think of it a seven. How many counter traps does the standard build play? Because this is not the this is not the loner deck. Do they play more than one usually? I they can recycle it anyways, I guess. So it probably doesn't matter. I'd probably say you play one because you can add it back from the grave. Because this one. Uh, this was like recipe card from deck or grave to hand, so I don't think they play more than one. It'd be weird. Yeah, they can recycle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think two is fine, maybe, but I don't really see a reason to run two, right? It's highly searchable and recyclable. What's the point of running multiples? Unless you're planning to banish it from the grave. If you play Hungry Burger, which I don't think this person is playing Hungry Burger. Some people are for the memes, but I'm pretty sure the deck is better if you just don't play the Hungry Burger, right? No, we've been switched to attack position. Oh. Okay. Oh, because it targets. I see. I feel like this is the first time we're actually seeing someone playing the deck to its fullest potential. I feel like things are happening in this game. That didn't happen in the previous games. Uh, this is not game though. It is not game. In which case... Can they quick effect target something right now? Am I missing something? I'll let it. I'll let it. I'll let them show me what they got. He can tribute for burger for game. Wait, what? I mean, I can I can still Valk if they do anything after this. So I don't think they have any burn damage. Okay. Dynamondo. Sure. Oh, that triggers more as well. Wait, they didn't... Huh? Okay, well, uh, we didn't see them. We at least didn't see them search the ritual spell again. Oh, that's such a bad draw, man. There's so many cards we could have drawn that would have been fine. Another ritual spell and one we already have is so bad right now. That is so freaking bad.
Well, I'm not, it's not really, I'm not really losing to this. I just can't play the game through a double ash. It's not like I'm really getting uh, combo to Oblivion by freaking the burger deck. I'm just like double, a I'm getting double ashed and impermed. Well, they didn't imperm to stop me from doing anything, but still didn't. It's like. It just doesn't stop. Yeah, they have a counter trap. Uh, favorite archetype? Uh, probably Paleo, but there's, I like multiple things. I also really like, I, I did like Necros back in the day. I like Dragon Rulers. Uh, Rites. A lot of favorite things. If you play this game for as long as I have, you don't have one favorite deck, I think. I like heavy burger. <laughs> Bro, everyone is playing Nouvelle. Okay, now I'm actually getting annoyed. I'm getting freaking annoyed. Uh, well, they show me two beast warriors, so I don't really have much of a choice, do I? The illusion of free choice. Are you playing Decisive Armor? I'm not. My target for Exile is just uh, Cataster. Uh, which is what we sometimes did back in the day. We usually played both. I just don't think Decisive Armor does anything in this meta for the Ritual event. But we'll see. Vegan man cannot cook with burger. True. Actual problem. Bro, they have seven cards in hand, by the way. Can we talk about that? They have seven cards in hand. They have not normal summon. I just want to bring that to your guys' attention. Why does everyone have that deck? Well, there is a loner for it, but this person is also not playing the loner because they revealed, I think it was the Viner earlier with the thingy. I forgot what they, no, Benton. Benton is not in the loner, I don't think. This is not a loner deck. This is another individual that owns these cards. They also have a glossy, which can't be in the loner, I don't think, yeah. The new Velmir must be freaking awful. The new Velmir, you probably, if you started to play a new Velmir right when the event began, you would probably not be done by now. I don't think. Like, if you started playing, if you logged into the game right when the event began and you clicked on play and you queued into a new Velmir, it's probably still going.
<laughs> I'm playing a mirror right now. Okay, and how long have you been, uh... How long have you two been cooking for? Has it been hours yet? Or are we still talking minutes? What kind of, what kind of dimension are we talking? Hours, minutes, years, centuries. What's going on? You think you're going to finish before the event finishes? Ah. What is it with every Nouvelle Duelist just opening three back row? Imperm is good in this deck. Imperm is good in that deck. If you can Imperm something and change your own thing, you're happy. You're eating good, literally. Uh, what do we add? Tree Shoe La. Well, the thing is, the counter trap, once again, just wrecks me, doesn't it? How is Necroz? Uh, it's it's fun. Let's say that. It is fun. They're simply not going to negate this Necroz cycle. Okay. Uh, now they also need to not have impermanence, though. As the... We know they have the counter trap, but we don't know about the last back row. It's most likely imperm. It's most likely just imperm, but... Oh, oh. Page. Well, the thing is, what do I even banish? <laughs> I feel like I'm being cooked regardless. Uh, it's nice. Thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Appreciate the prime, everybody. Thank you. Uh, the target's a monster on the field. So I could Dynamondo. And not target a monster on the field. Uh, Akiza-chan, thank you for the Prime as well. Appreciate you. Welcome back. This one. And this one. Why is all- why does all of this just work? Why did all of that just work? I'm probably still losing, but... I can chain block this, right? Because they're... I'm chain blocking. Uh... I guess. 
Give me back Trishula. The Trishula back to my hand. Uni can always add Trish. Yeah, but I don't. I might want to use Unicorn for something else. And I definitely want Trish next turn, right? You always need Trish. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to Ash if they already have all this set up. I'm just going to Ash this thing. I don't know what the set is still. It could st I mean, they still have potentially the counter trap. I probably lost anyways, yeah. I probably lost anyways. I will say, though, I think it's somewhat enjoyable that we're like actually... We're playing real games most of the time here, right? Except for the one Drytron game. It's been decent games, right? It's never, it's never felt like too bad. It's a fine event, I think. How are you guys enjoying the event so far? Okay, that's a custom draw. Oh, wait, no, they have no graveyard. It's not that bad, actually. It's always a go-first blowout? You think so? I mean, maybe. I'm playing Vanquish Soul and the event is fine. Wait, we can play Vanquish Soul in this? Is the entire main deck of Vanquish Soul unlimited? Is it just we don't have the rock? Do we Vanquish some souls later? We have like an hour. We have over an hour left. We could Vanquish some souls. Hmm? The illusion of free choice once again. Here, have this. Is it a is it an eight thousand damage situation? Surely not, right? But they have another counter trap set up. They have a lot of cards in their hand. It's actually concerning. Not enough cards, apparently. Not going well. Eleven, twenty three, twenty eight. This is forty eight hundred. You're not even close yet. You're on forty eight hundred. You're barely halfway there. Ah, Dynamondo. Okay, now we have less damage. Oh, 
But we get to do this. Okay, now we're on 54. 54. Anyone more than 54? 61. 61. Do I hear more than 61? Anyone? Nope. Okay. 61 it is. Baron is banned. Yeah, yeah. Baron is banned. You can't make Baron. All right. Uh, counter trap spotted. More sets spotted. Unfortunate. Yeah. Okay. That looks like an insane draw in the first moment, but I don't think it's that good, but... It is kind of good that we can... That we can, what's it called? Attack, summon our stuff in attack and attack them. That is a benefit. Um, <laughs> it is a lot of back row though, you are right. They use their counter trap on Dark Ruler. Okay. Uh, interesting. Maybe good for me? Question mark. Hmm. What is their back row, dude? I have no idea. What do I banish? What the hell do I banish? No idea, man. This we're playing Cataster. Yeah, we're playing Cataster as a search target for 
as a search target for... Uh, Exa. That is good for me. That's good for me. So end phase we draw one card, which is nice. I can't attack anything, right? When a monster is targeted for these are the toxic, actual toxic. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this game, man. Is it winnable? Probably not, right? There's no way. But how has it been going on for so long? What's going on? Uh, Nox Enigma, thank you for the two months. Uh, but uh, stop. This is not the sub sound for a reason. It's not the sub sound for a reason anymore. This is the second week in a row where you guys keep uh, using the sub the the ray thing as a as a sub message. They win this turn. Well, we have Valkyrus, so they need like called by or they need called by or the counter trap. It's not over till it's over, chat. We will try to make this game last as long as possible. It's based, it's been going for 15 minutes, by the way, like unironically. Beep. Uh. No, they have the other counter. They heart you that. We didn't know about that. I'm actually in. I'm actually in shambles, dude. I am actually so sad. Yeah, that's pointless. That doesn't do anything. No, come on. Unfortunate, man. Unfortunate. Uh. We're vanquishing souls now. Select. Yes. Edit. Uh, no maxi. No desires. No tikaboo. That's fine. And no extra deck. Pop, 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 pop. Literally no extra deck. Okay. Noted. Pinpoint landing is bad. Actually, is it? Maybe it's fine. Oh, no Biss deals. Uh, okay, so wh what do we have then? What do we have then? What are we working with? Durandal time? Well, Durandal is pretty bad if you can't make the rock, right? Prosperity? 
I don't know. I kind of want to draw with Burger. What hand traps are good? Is Bell good against Nouvelle? Is Bell good against Nouvelle? No, right? You can bell you can bell the the field spell to search, I think. Because it can add from the graveyard. So you could use you can use bell, technically. Is Nibiru legal? Hmm. Droll fucks him up. Well, I don't think Droll is legal, is it? No, Droll is not legal. Crow? Crow. Crow is legal. Crow would be good against Drytron. You can play Crow. Don't mind Crow. Uh, Pankra. Pankratops is legal. Pankratops is good. I only have two, but it's fine. Saronia is legal. Ah, uh, Saronia. Saronia is probably better than Crow. We need to fake an extra deck. So that they don't know what technology we're using. Oop. You would probably play three Valius, but I only have two. Kurikara? I don't think Kurikara is good. We need some fires. I mean, yes, but I don't think Kurikara is the, the one. Like, I'm down to play some fire effect monsters, but... Uh... I don't know. Hmm... Korikara good versus Drytron. You see, the thing is, we already have a lot of good hand traps against Drytron, but mainly we've been playing against freaking. Um, we've only really been playing against uh, the the thing, the deck. What what is it called? I forgot. Um, the cooking. Nouvelle. And uh, I don't really want to play Kurikara against Nouvelle. It doesn't seem very good. <laughs> the French. <laughs> yes, the French. We've been playing against the French. What about Phantasme? Phantasme, uh, you have... No, no. Pots. Desires is banned. We could play the one Prosperity, even though it, it limits our options to draw with Heavy Burger. But we could play Prosperity for consistency, you know. But I no, I'm not going to. You know what? We will just jam a game. We will just vanquish some souls. Surely it's going to be fine. Rescue Ace? Uh, I don't think Rescue Ace is very good. Well, I mean, even if it is, I don't think I have all the cards at this point. I didn't dismantle any of them, but I don't think I pulled all of them enough. No, my headphones died! Oh god, where? Okay, well, no music for me. No music for me. Uh, stick your soul, your nose is mine. Do you guys still have music? No, you don't. I have to restart Spotify. God damn. Look at my mad love. Uh, bup, bup. Now you have music again. Okay, good. It's very low, though. Oops. All right, let's draw. And now we small world into raisin. Now the thing is, if I show them crow, they're playing 50 cards. I'm, I'll show them mad love and I banish. 
Spanish burger. Add raisin. Salmon raisin. Valius. Valius is kind of doing nothing here, but it's always Jiao Long. I guess it's Caesar then. It doesn't, this deck doesn't really, uh, you know, do that much in this event, but fine. Have you tried the vertical setting to show the cards? Not yet. Okay, it's 50 card ritual pile. What is it? Dogmatica, of course. Uh, then if your opponent controls a monster, well, yeah. Uh, I have the I have the feeling that Crow and Serenir are not going to be great against Dogmatica, but maybe that's just me. Maybe that is just me. But yeah, what do they send from their extra deck to the graveyard for, like, their things? They have one Herald, but that's limited, and then what else? Nothing. Okay. Noted. Noted, noted. Can banish their graveyard extra deck to prevent follow-up? Uh, yeah, you can theoretically banish their stuff because there's like the one where you... Which one is it? Maximus is the one where you need to banish extra deck monsters from your grave, right? To summon it. But I think you can also banish rituals for it. Maybe? I don't know exa exactly. I forgot. Uh, they search. What is that? White relic? Okay. White! Hmm. So, this is like... Dogmatica's version of Kaleidoscope, right? Yeah, they send Herald to summon White Relic. Trigger Herald. Uh, I'll probably chain Borger. Just so this doesn't gain attack. And then I think I want to, I think I want to banish the, I think I want to banish the Herald. Because Maximus is banish one, Fusion, Synchro, Exceed, or Link. So I kind of want to go Burger, Reveal a Dark, look at my DD Crow. And then on, on Resolve, I will just... Ooh, Ash is a good top deck, I guess. It's a little late for Ash, but it's still good. And then I'll just crow this, just in case. Uh, yeah. Balance. Take control. Okay. That's scary. That is actually fucked up. 
That is actually fucked up. They just use talents to steal and to draw, by the way. Actually unethical. Ooh, they drew souls at Dark Dark Magician. Oh, I could have bestealed that. I didn't I didn't realize they were using that effect. It's actually a Dark Magician deck. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. No. Cease. I should have bestialed the Dark Magician. That would have been very nice. The thing is, they can't, they cannot link this off, right? They have to perform another ritual summon. Because they are locked out of their extra deck already, I believe. Because they added with the, uh, Ecclesia, so they have to give it back unless they have another ritual ready. Right, so if if they're giving me back my heavy burger, we're actually big chilling because we get more, we draw more cards and stuff. Set battle phase. Okay, I won't use my bestial here. I'll you. I'll save it for later. Looks like we're just getting back the Borger. Looks like the Borger is going to return. Hello, Nilmi. How are you doing? Okay, give it back. Thank you. Okay, more darks. Not what we needed, but it's fine. Effect. Up. Ooh, fire is good. Fire is nice. Okay, now what would we want to destroy with Raisin the most? Uh, probably the white relic. We need another fire. Technically. Technically what we need most is another fire. We can add another fire here. Uh, yeah, and then we can add... Okay, yeah. Activate Raisin. This and this. Then activate Zhao Long. Then activate Valius. Bounds. We're actually pogging right now. We're actually so happy right now. Two fires. This is what we needed second fire for, and this is also why we didn't need to add another earth, because this is going to add another earth, unless they imperm this one, which I don't think they will, so. Uh, honestly, Pantera seems kind of useless. 
here. I mean, I already, I, I'll, I'll just get a Valius just in case we ever run out of it. I don't need, I don't need it. Effect. Earth, Dark, Fire. They really should have made Vanquish Souls, Earth, Wind, and Fire. N instead of Earth, Dark, and Fire. It's a huge um, design mistake, if you ask me. Uh, we probably just pop the back row. Because we can attack this. This is just... Can't be destroyed to spare some from the extra deck, right? Yeah. I'll pop the back row. Suck. And... Pop. Use a bestial on the one dark magician. Because we have two bestials anyways. Might as well put some damage on, out here. Some pressure. While it's still a quick effect. This almost kills them, by the way. Like, they're on 1600. If I burger burn them, they are down to 100. They are down to 100 life. What can I summon? Oh, cross sheep. I'm not going to. Okay, uh, Zhao Long effect. Who fires? Pop, pop. Add. Add. What do I need? I need nothing. I have everything. Mad love. I don't think I want to burn this turn, even though I could just go for like a slow burn. Like I burn them now and even if they can out my entire board, as long as I don't die, I can just burn them again next turn. But I don't think that's the right play here. Because by that logic, if I don't die this turn and I just, um, I can just burn them next turn and then in their next standby phase, I can do the rest. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Up, up, up. No dark magic, Ian, for you. Oh, there might be a dark magic, Ian, for them. Well, if they try to use this for to summon, uh, I can still use my bestial. I don't think they know about this Serenir, do they? I, I I think they I I only showed them Serenir before I summoned this one, so they might not know. Okay, now if they're using oh no, special summon this card. Okay. What? The? Okay, they're going for desperation draws, which is fine, I guess. The dear servant. And this, yeah, draw two, fine. All we need to do is survive this turn. This turn. There's no way, right? Look at my board. My board is so thick. There's no shot I die this turn. There is no way. I am the owner. I'm the proud owner of 11 cards. Okay, yeah. What I thought. What I thought. We could burn them to death. 
I'm just saying. We give them a homie draw? We give them a homie draw. And then we still burn them to death. Monka S. Never punished. Never punished. Actually never punished. Noilus 5, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Thank you. Burger for game. Oh, we got the thingy. That's actually that's actually nice. That's actually nice. That might be my favorite um my favorite uh field parts thingy. I actually like this one. Okay, Vanquish Soul undefeated is all I'm saying. Vanquish Soul undefeated so far is all I'm saying. And we still can't draw um We still can't draw freaking Raisin even in the event Mm, I guess we get Dust Devil then. I don't know how good the book is in this in this format, but we pass. Augers. Well, Mad Love can bounce. Mad Love can bounce, and Dust Devil can book. So, and Ash is also hidden armory, Mill Feather Duster. Uh, I think it's a Mikanko situation, chat. I think it's a Mikanko angle. That is probably the Mikanko. I hope they go Arabesque and equip Arabesque to my Mad Love. I hope that is something they will do. I hope that is something they will do. It has to be Mikanko, right? There's no other ritual deck that plays equips and doesn't need his normal summon, right? Yeah, it's Arabesque. Go Arabesque, my mad love! See what happens. Yep. Sick. <laughs> Vanquish Soul is indeed the best deck. It is literally the best deck. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be stopped, chat. We are undefeatable with the Vanquish Soul. How many wins is it? Or like how many points is it to like get all the gem rewards? Is it still 1100 for this event? Cause we're on like 6k or something. How is the matchup against Nouvelle? Uh, we haven't played it yet. Like that's the thing. We played against Nouvelle like five times in a row. Unironically, I think. And now since we've switched to this deck just to have some fun with it, we haven't seen a single one. But here, I mean, look, I stand corrected. Here we are. Uh, so if I give them this, they don't get to add the free thingy. I probably, I'm probably supposed to give them this. 
instead of giving because if I give them this, they have this plus the right uh, ritual spell to summon it. But uh, is it really so bad if I if they have the ritual spell and this? Because as long as they don't have this, it's all Gucci, right? Yeah, I have this. I don't know. I don't know if this is smart or not, but I don't want them to have the pendulum. I think there is a reason why they show me the pendulum, right? Because they want to have it. Otherwise, you wouldn't uh you wouldn't show me the pendulum monster, would you? Like it feels like every hand that already has access to the pendulum monster doesn't show you the pendulum monster because you just show ritual monsters to guarantee you get the plus 1 off of the spell, right? So now they have to go all through all the these things but they don't actually get to like they have to excavate the pendulum monster basically if they don't excavate the pendulum here it's like not that bad for me even if they do excavate it, it's not as bad as if they had gotten it right because pre-prep plus the pendulum monster would have been insanely strong right and they didn't reveal it okay i don't think they can go crazy here as but i don't know the deck super well but they still have six cards in hand by the way but I don't think, yeah, I don't think they go crazy here. All right, cool. Uh, is it ever a Serenir angle? Probably not. No. You know what's cool? It's cool to go Raisin. Raisin doesn't target these, but the problem is if they have freaking the counter trap, I am in a little bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble. Uh, we need another fire. If they have the counter trap, it's uh, it's pretty bad for me. Can I bait the counter trap somehow? I could stake your soul. See if they use the count. If they use the counter trap on stake your soul, it'd be ideal for me. They don't. Okay, so we go. Mad love. Mad love can bounce it too. Dark and earth, but I don't have an earth monster. That's fucked up. Uh, in that case, probably burger. Wow. Maybe that should have been in defense position. Useless. Okay. Fire. Dark. Uh, I will chain block this. Smart, the smart man that I am. I will chain block them to tag out. I think their day has been ruined right now. Bob. Bob. Uh, I can summon Zhao Long. But summoning Zhao Long, I can't search with it, and it's not going to be game. It was game if I had a fire monster in hand, because I could change this to attack position, but I don't have a fire in hand. Uh, I The way this is, it's only... Earth and fire. Like, if I summon Zhao Long, they are in range of Burger Burn. I'll activate it. Hmm. 
Burger to burn needs earth and fire, and I don't have an earth right now, so... But they go down to 600, so if I ever get to assemble... Uh, a thingy, I... Wait! No, I do have game. I can... Oh! Burger goes to hand? Yeah, it does, but that's fine. Hold up. End phase. Burger to hand. Uh, continue. Raisin. They have something. What do they have? What could they possibly be holding? Well, they can use this, right? Yeah. Summon. And this adds an earth. And then we can... Yeah, we go add values. And then Borger bounce, and we have, um, we have another, we have burn. It's only, it, it only works in the main phase, but it's probably going to be fine. I don't think they have a way to prevent this. The, what, what could prevent this now? Like, it would have to be something like Droplet. It would have to be Droplet. Uh, we just go with this. Bounce, Jiao Long. Probably should have bounced Raisin in this game. Nice! Vanquish Soul, actually insane. Bestials are available. It's only, um, only Serenir that's available, I think. So how is Vanquish Soul without Rock doing better for me than Vanquish Soul with Rock? Can someone explain that to me? We had the most miserable time last week with Vanquish Soul. We need to do a redemption arc for Vanquish Soul at some point. Probably this week. Rock is holding the deck back. True. Rock is the problem. P please be Drytron. I haven't asked this question much in my life, but please be Drytron for once. This is the one time I want it to be Drytron. Please. Add Benton. I'm begging you. <gasps> it might be Drytron, but that's not a good sign, actually. Why, why are you adding this? That's sus. No, don't do that. Hold up. What are they doing? Why do you start by adding Herald of Perfection? Actually, don't do that. Herald of the Diviner. Okay. I'm actually uh, scared. Don't. Yep. What? Pure Herald? Dude, <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man! No! <laughs> There's no shot I'm losing to Pure Herald. <laughs> or even worse, it might still be Drytron, right? It could still be Drytron, and they're gonna summon Petite Cyber Angel, Surge Benton, now. And then pop off after, and have a Herald of Perf- Yo, Oh, no, 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 no! No, don't do it! Don't- Eat that then. The hell? Uh, okay. Uh. I'll summon Serenir. I should have used Serenir when they added back with Dawn. That way they were forced to negate. Now they are not forced to negate, but they do anyways. Okay, in that case, it doesn't make a real difference. Well, they get to this... They get to this card, the Idaten, instead of a different card in their hand, but... 
That's fine, I guess. Ooh, Pantera is a decent pickup because we can summon it on empty board, I guess. Uh... I'm just hoping there are like a button clicker and clicking uh, negate on everything because I actually would like them to negate this Pantera because it doesn't really do anything. Like, there's no way. Yeah, okay. Do I just take out the Petite? I... Yeah, I'll probably just take out the Petite. Borgir. I get this. So basically, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to force them to negate with their good cards, which is what you would usually do. Is this, if this is not Drytron, if it's an actual, like, Herald of Perfection, just whatever deck, how you can win, even if you can't play through all their stuff, is you just force them to negate until they have no more follow-up. And then you might eventually get out of the situation. We'll see. Like, if they negate Small World, for example, that'd be great for me right now. They do not. That's smart. Look at my DD Crow. Uh, banish Madlove, add Raisin, probably. I mean, they just negate Raisin, right? I just hope... Like, the thing is, I know they have Diviner in hand, so I need to force them to, like, negate something to get rid of the Diviner. Even though the Diviner isn't that great without another Arc Light, I'm guessing. But, I mean, you definitely negate here, right? Yeah. There's the Diviner. That might be the last card, the, la the last fairy that they have. So now it depends a little bit on what their follow-up is. But we do pass now. If they have follow-up, or whatever, I mean, I don't even know what their game plan is for this deck, dude. Don't they have Idaten in hand? No, that's also been discarded. there okay they have another diviner but i don't know what this sends because herald is at one so this might actually it might actually be good for us that they have this because i don't know how good this is really it does suck that we opened double small world into this particular deck because uh you go very low on cards if you ever never use that Whenever you use small word, you basically just go two cards for one, and then friggin' uh, Herald negates that card, and then... Ooh! Attack position Herald! The aggressive! The aggressive Herald! I should have summoned Pantera and... No, I attacked with it. Never mind. Farfa, hello! Congratulations again! Uh, okay, well, that is... Not great. Small world. They don't have a fairy. Oh, they don't have a fairy, I think. I don't think they have a fairy. Hold up. Uh, so banish Borger. Add Raisin. Actually, it was probably Mad Love add continue. No fairy, please. Yeah, no fairy. Okay. Ah, no fairy. So we go ahead. And just summon, I think, Valius. We just summon Valius and attack over the Herald. Easy clap. Easy clap. Banker Soul is literally not able to be defeated. See, this is what I mean. You just run them out of their fairies in hand if it's not a Drytron deck. Because, like, a Drytron deck always has follow-up, but this deck does not always have follow-up. Okay. 
All right, it's almost 5 p.m. I'm going to say the famous words. Uh, probably last one more, you know, last one, probably. Well, we'll see. I'm calling it. Why did they summon Diviner anyway? I do not know that. They should have kept the Diviner for... They should have kept the Diviner for... Um... The negate, yeah. You're right. Uh, I, I almost revealed mad love. Can you imagine? Raisin. Um, board gear. Pinpoint. Burger. Landing. Burger. Rare pinpoint value, true. Uh, mad love. Search. Mm. I mean, we do have all three attributes. If we go small world, add, um, small world, add Caesar. So, you know, let's go for, let's go for glory. Why not? Uh, we can get rid of one ash. Uh, Raisin does go into Valius, right? I think Jialong doesn't. I think it has to be this. Yeah. There we go. Boom. Perfection. Perfection. Do I add... Do I want Borger back in my hand? No. We did beat the Herald right now. We did win against Herald. Okay. Manju. Manju was probably not worth ashing, is it? Probably fine. There's better ritual cards to to ash, like the, the quick play spell and stuff like that, right? Mm, this one's a fine ash, I think. But it's also not that big of a deal. I mean, I have Snow Devil. I can just let him play a little bit and then Snow Devil their ass. Destroy the entire board, man. Right? It's like, it doesn't really matter what they summon here. They tribute the level 3 from hand to summon the level 1 from hand. Okay. And they get to add the recipe. They get to excavate 5. That is also fine. They hit with it. But it's only a nouvelle, nouvelle card. Oh, this is not a nouvelle card. Okay, that's why they didn't add it. It's a burger mirror match, yeah. It is a burger mirror match. I mean... Yeah, go for it. I don't really th know what they're trying to accomplish. I guess they can try to pop my back row now. Because it targets a spell trap, destroys it. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll chain it. Uh, Raisin... Valius, burger, pop, 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 and GG. GG!
I mean, I mean, it's kind of been working. It's kind of been working. That's all I'm saying. Ignore the extra deck. You don't need the extra deck. Actually, you do need the cross sheep, I think, because sometimes you want to link off your stuff to have a target for continue. But everything else, you know, is kind of irre irrelevant. All right. Uh, it was a quick. It was a quick one more. But I am choosing to call it a day here to end it on a high note. Because if we go into one more now and then we lose that one, we're ending on a bummer. We're just choosing to end it on a win streak with Vanquish Soul. I think that is, uh, that is uh, fair enough. I think that is fair enough. We're ending five minutes early to be able to end on a high note. We're not going to over-enjoy... Uh, you know, we're not going to uh, challenge fate today. Chat, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I need to check who I raid. Uh, because Farfa is not live as per usual. Uh, where do I send you guys? Uh, I'll send you guys... Oh, there's a Libromancer Duelist. Okay, I'll send you guys to the Libromancer Duelist. Is Lampy live as well? I can send you guys to Lampy. Lampy is live. Okay, I'll send you guys over to Lampy. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, I hope you guys are gonna have a great rest of your day and you're gonna be back tomorrow to, uh, so have a great rest of your day thank you for following thank you for all the subs appreciate every single one of you and thank you for watching see you tomorrow bye bye